Yo, buy what you like, rock what you like, don't go with the hype. Because the hype is often wrong, bro. Would you agree? Yeah, I would say so. Sometimes. Sometimes the case, sometimes not. I don't roll with it, bro. Welcome back to the Shoe Dog Podcast, episode 84, with me and the bro, 808 Kicks ATO. I always get the pointing of the fingers wrong because I don't know what way I'm looking at. There you go, guys. There you go. That's cute. It's cute. <laughs> go and follow 808 Kicks ATO. Go for Love Kick Customs on all the audio channels in terms of the Google, Apple, we're on there, and also on YouTube and Instagram and on TikTok, all of that stuff, guys. Please do like, follow, subscribe. If you do like the content, please do share. Please put the notification bell on. And remember, like what I told you like last week, we're taking over, guys. We're taking over, we're determined, and we're savage like beasts. <laughs> Zero. It's personal. Up, like, Coach, like Coach Prime said, it's personal. Yeah, it's personal. Um, what's got you um, annoyed in terms of uh, it's, no, it's not the hype, it's no, the hype's never real? I'm interested. I'm intrigued now. What, somebody said something to you. Yes. Um, so, you know, the Terror Score Air Force Ones came out. Yeah. Um, yesterday. Yeah, beautiful sneaker, bro. Beautiful sneaker. Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, yes. Got them. Absolutely no amazing. Absolutely amazing. No sneakers. So, um, looking forward to seeing. I'm hearing I'm hearing a lot of good things about the materials on the TS um Air Force One. It'll be the it only always, always. it'll be the first and only Air Force One um in my yeah. collection. I used to I used to do Air Forces back in the day, but I ain't really been interested in too many. Um the wheat mocha, I always bring up that wheat mocha Air Force One, bro. I love that shoe. I never went back and got it. I could have went back and got it ten times over by now. But uh, I'm a hearing, I'm hearing we Air Force One is beautiful. I'm hearing disrespect um, about that sneaker. It, I felt like it was easier to cop than it should have been. Like and, everything, bro. We're about to we, we'll delve into it. This is just the main subject we're delving into in terms of not not the main subject. We're gonna bring this up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but, it, it, everything's a bit more easy to cop. I had I've been having a lot of sneaker conversations over the past couple of days because uh, I went to a couple of parties. Um, There's a lot of birth. I know a lot of Virgos for some reason. Uh, <laughs> Same why, bro. That's the problem. Shout out to my partner E. Um, long, long over. I've been knowing E for twenty plus years. His birthday is actually today, the day of recording. So shout out to E. Went celebrate his birthday last night at uh, the homie Block's house. Shout out to Block, uh, former street guy, turned his life around. He's doing uh, great, great, great. So I love, um, I love to see that. But I went to Block House last night, and yeah. this I, I just I just want to say this real real quick and get it out of the way because I showed you. Block yeah. has his yeah. dad's 1985 Chicago Wolves. You know what, bro? I, 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 you called me last night um, at about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, and you was like, yo, bro. Because what's up, bro? Um, yeah, I got so I, I was here. Um, I'm I'm here at a block party. Um, I'm no, I'm here at a party, birthday party. Uh, I want to show you something. Check your phone. Like, All right, cool. Let me check my phone. And I put open it up, and you showed me these pictures of these uh, 85 Chicago, yeah. old 85 Chicago's, right? And I was like. Yo, they're dope. But I've lucky enough. AJ, shout out to AJ in Chicago. He actually showed me a pair of sneaker on London, and I was afraid to touch it. And bro, did you actually touch that sneaker? Because I know you were really afraid to touch that sneaker. Um, I haven't touched it yet, however, because <laughs> Block is thinking about having me clean it for him. 
Okay. So he, I don't, I, I advised against it. I told him leave it as yeah. is. If, unless you're trying to wear uh, it, just leave it as is. It's so, going to deteriorate, bro. I wouldn't touch it. Like the leather is probably cracking. Yeah, no, yeah. No, don't clean no, no. that, bro. Please I don't, don't clean it, that. I don't think it will fall apart necessarily. Um, but I just told him to leave it as is, bro. Just leave it yeah. as is. If you're gonna if you're gonna keep it, just leave it. Excuse me. If you're gonna sell it, sell it as is. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It's let, probably more valuable as it as it is than if you wash it and kind of break it apart. And if it does break apart, it's not gonna be valued than if it but I would have emceed hammer straight out of that room because it can't touch this dude and out of the room, bro. Bro, all the numbers <laughs> look if you can if you can see right here, all the numbers yeah, are intact. That. The tongue tags are intact. Everything OG laces. He does not have the box, which is unfortunate. But um, how many people still got eighty five? No, I, I, I don't think. I, I know. Uh, like I said, I know AJ in Chicago collects eight nineteen eighty five so Chicago ones. Um, he's got a couple, and none of I don't think he's got boxes with him either. But like uh, when you showed me his variation of that eighty five, the, the actual inner lining of it, the, the actual inner lining of the shoe, it's like solid. Like it's not cushion no more. It's sandy. You, you can feel it. it's gritty. So if you pr if you press it, it's got your indentations of your fingers oh, in it. So you have to. Yeah, on the foam, on the foam. So you gotta be really careful because it's deteriorated so much so the foam is solidified. And if you touch it, right, you can still wear it, it will still compact. But if you touch your finger, touch it, it will leave the indentations of your fingers on it. Like you have to be careful with that sneaker. Do not wash that sneaker, do not clean that sneaker. Leave it. It's nearly 40 years old, bro. It's nearly 40 years old. Yeah, I told him, bro, he didn't know what he had he knew there was some value in it but he didn't know how valuable it could possibly be uh so yeah shout out to block man um but talking, talking about talking about 1985s um i shout shout out to block shout out to um he like basically you know but i, I hope you will have like a beautiful birthday and stuff oh, like no, that it was great. It was um, great. yeah and shout out to coach prime too three and oh three and oh Coach Prime is doing it for it. We love it. Everybody, The Rock was there. Cameron was there. Lil Wayne was there. Yeah. I mean, Offset was there. Yo. And during the game, uh, right quick before you continue, when they was talking to Offset, the two teams had penalties that Offset, and it went in Colorado's favor. So, yeah, Atlanta, we bringing, we bringing all the – come on, bro. You, you can't – the. An Atlanta rapper at Coach Prime's game, his name is Offset. As soon as they show yeah. Offset, they do they start interviewing Offset, they have offsetting penalties <laughs> that go in in Coach Prime's favor, who is a former Atlanta Falcon. You know what I'm saying? Like and you can't yeah. Yeah, it is that more with also meant almost meant to be. Um, and talking about um, 1985s, did you see the did you see the story online? Um, uh, recently, I think I think it's people are calling cap on it just, just because they didn't believe it. But somebody at the at a thrift shop, a goodwill thrift shop, picked up a Chicago 85 high for for about four dollars no, $4.99, nearly $5. No, that's cap. I know. I, I thought that. And somebody in the chat or conversations or somebody in the messages was like, everybody knows this sneaker. So I'm pretty sure that this you didn't get this for four four dollars and ninety nine cents. No, everybody doesn't know the sneaker. Unfortunately, we feel like that because Michael Jordan yeah, is yeah. so popular. But a lot of people just know Jordan the player. They don't care about the shoes and stuff, which um, is unfortunate for them. So if somebody, I could see that happening, but it's super rare. I, I, I yeah. would say one of them chance. Yeah, the condition of the sneaker was slightly worse than the one Blocks got, but it was pretty decent. Like you can tell it's been thrown around a bit. Um it's probably more, got more wear and tear on it. Um but yeah, for four four dollars and ninety nine cents for a Chicago eighty nine eighty five, bro. If I saw that, I'll pick it out, bro. Uh, I, you know what? You know those. Uh, you know those sample Columbia fours that I have. That not sample Columbia fours. You know the color blocking I do on the on the Columbia fours. That's a, that's yeah. like a size eight. I got that for like twenty five pounds and like and ninety nine pence i think um that was that was like a size like yo bro i could have refurbished that and and still kept it or still giving it to somebody for like way more than what i did but i kind of used it as a sample and i thought you know what i'm not going to refurbish this i need a i need a sneaker to sample to color test it so i'll use that 
and I'll be fine. I um, mean, it's not my side, so I utilized it in what I was doing anyway. But, bro, there is, you can get deals, and I'm surprised I found a deal in the UK for a Columbia 4. Yeah, I, bro, but I've I just been having a lot of uh, sneaker moments this weekend. Um, I pulled out my arm on my F4s. E daughter didn't know what they were, and she was freaking out. Like, <laughs> what? Well, she didn't understand what was going on. She just kept staring at yeah. the shoe. And she told him to ask me what it was. So I came and showed her, oh. the, you know, the quill to how, how old is she? How old is she? Uh, I think she's 17. 17. Okay. Okay. So she, she's maturing into an adult and now she's getting yeah. interested into well, sneakers. She, she, she been into sneakers. It just so happened that the four is her favorite Jordan. So, um, four, <laughs> fours, fours, ones, and threes, I think is our, no, fours, yeah. fours. But, Ones, fours, and fives. Ones, fours, and fives. I think is what you told me. But um, okay, that's that's a bit different because I know. Like, let's be, let's be, let's be real. Well, we know, no, no. I know where you're going. Ones and fours is easy, right? Yeah, no. Jordan but fours easy. Jordan ones. Shout out to Dave. It's but, easy. It's <laughs> easy. It's easy. It's easy. But fives, like for a, a teenager, that's special. That's special. yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's so, um, but uh, she she yeah, freaked out. Say. Um. And then, uh, well, Friday at, at Black's house, I had so many, because these are uh, a lot of my coworkers, so they know I'm the sneaker guy. So here come all the sneaker conversations. And oh, I, no, did get a chance, I did get a chance, I did get a chance to talk to my coworker. Who About the situation. The Night Rider 11s. Yeah, yeah. We'll save that. We'll save that for a main conversation. But re- re- remember that four. Let's put a pin on that four. Remember Night Rider Eleven. You're gonna have a laugh um, and join us in the main subjects because that's where it's belong. But I'm gonna go back. To my, we're gonna go back to my conversation um, yeah, yeah. that I was saying. Ones and fours. Ones and fours. Right. So something like every sneakerhead. Um, that gets into Jordans and Nikes, like ends up looking at ones and fours first because they're the most common and renowned kind of silhouettes in terms of the Jordan Jordan range. Like you start, you would like I'm be I'm being honest. Like when I first started picking up Jordans, I was like I was picking up ones and then fours and then threes and then it evolved to fives and then I realized I love fives and a black metallic five became my favorite five right and now it became my favorite silhouette and then then I thought you know what I stayed there and it involved the sixties then involved the sevens and involved the eights then thirteens and elevens and twelves and I'm like I'm in a world of hurt here bro <laughs> 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 that, is, that is pretty much and this is why I said every, like majority I would say maybe 80% of sneakerheads end up picking up ones and fours and ones becomes the most picked up silhouette in your in your ones is, is, is like, so part. easy in, ones is easy yeah. because of me as a lot it's easy it's easy yeah, it's easy it's easy like one one's like a, such a I wouldn't say generic sneaker, but like it's one of those sneakers that's so synonymous. No, it's, that's in the way it's, it's the most so synonymous. It's the most easily accessible Jordan so, uh, signature mm. sneaker. Even though um, you know we we frown upon mids and uh, retro lows uh, versus OG lows and OG highs, it's the most accessible Jordan sneaker, bro. Everybody, yeah, it's not everybody can. It's, Jordan was. They might not yeah. be the most popular colorway or the most hype colorway, but everybody can get their hands on a pair of Jordan ones one way or another. Yeah, but but if you can't get a high, you can get a mid, and then you can get a low, and then you can get a Zoom Comfort, and then you can get a Zoom Comfort this and that, this and that, and you react this and that, bro. I'm not joking. This I haven't known a silhouette to be so saturated with different variations and on top of that you get the 85 cut you get the reimagined cuts and all of that stuff you get the sways and the satins to give you everything bro it's just crazy the Jordan 1 I would say is the most kind of really sneaker in the, in terms of the Jordan range yeah for, as far as Jordans go yeah Nike got you know they do a lot of 90, 95s they do a lot of Air Max in general, so I think on like on the Nike side, maybe the Air Max ninety yeah. might be c- kind of close, but Jordan 
the Jordan one, bro. With the, with the, one, yeah. Once you count mids and lows, no question. Yeah. Let, 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 your brother, let's even talk about heights, right? We, 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 this year, what fours did we get? We got the Crofts, we got the Thunders, we got the um, we're gonna get the Olives, we got we're gonna get um, uh, what else is there coming? Um, there is a couple of them coming, fours. We got the Frozen Moments, um, there is like f- maybe four or five we got this year, right? Let's, let's talk about Jordan ones just alone, just a G, G, a high, GR highs. We we do you get, do you get the Marinas. The black wash, the pink wash. Um, last year, Marina's last year. I thought it was this year. Early this year. Oh. No, Marina. No, black and no. the black and blue ones. That, that was not this year, bro. <laughs> not at all. No, so, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, everything's merging into one. Uh, I traded yeah, Marina's for Gatorades last year, so I know it was. I mean, Actually, actually, you know what I'm getting mixed up with um, the the um, this, that green, green, that green gorge, um, gorge green. That's no, what I'm getting mixed lucky up with. Green. Lucky Green, that's the one. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm mixing up names again now. Again, but there's so many Jordan ones. That's a problem. And uh, there's so many Jordan ones. It's, and even now, we're gonna get satin, satin breads. We're getting a suede reimagined ones. Like there's so many Jordan ones in the higher variation. Uh, you alone is outnumbered. Like we don't even need to talk about mids or lows, bro. Hundred percent. No. No, but. He- that's that's because of the way it is right now. Even even in the height of the Jordan One uh, craze, mids certain mids sold out too, real fast. Like um, the Royal mids sold out, the Bread mids sold out, the uh, the Chicago Toe mids. Like, it was a lot of a lot of dope. I mean, my wife, I got the Chicago Toes for my wife, so you know the ones, bro. It's just ones they. That's why I'm not, bro. Dude told me the other night that the the he don't want the terror squad, and, and this is why I said what I said. And we can we can go ahead to quick strikes. Mm-hmm. A dude told me he don't like the terror squad Air Force Ones because they pandas. No, get out of here! No, I no. Said, bro, you, Ooh, you, no, don't, you don't understand bro. sneaker history, dude. You don't you don't know what this no. territory was one is. You don't understand pa- panda is uh, a buzzword yeah. for a black and white shoe. The dunk, the panda dunked low is the only shoe that really deserves to be called panda. You know what I'm saying? Like you you can try to throw it on any other black and white shoe if you want to. But I don't roll with that. The panda. We when you say panda, you are talking about the the Nike Dunk Low Black and White. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't give me that when we talking about a legendary sneaker. That's that was a mythical sneaker like a Thunder Four or or you know a Raging Bull Five by itself, Lightning Four, you know stuff like that. Lightning uh, uh, Thunder Fourteens. You know what I mean? Like you, bro. What are you talking about? You know, you, and, you know, and, but but he turned around and says, "Jordan ones are dead." I can't talk to you, dog. Oh, I can't talk to you, bro. I can't talk to you, bro. And yeah, you know what? You, hype, you know what? Hype, you know, I, I help. Uh, the hype is now. It's not dead, bro. The hype is. I had on. He said that while I had on purple Gatorades. I'm gonna say one thing, bro. Wait, 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 wait until. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait until people start putting that union one in their top three. Wait, wait, wait till that happens. Even some people will put them in the top one, in the top number one release. Wait till that happens, and then then you can go reflect to him and say what whatever he wants to say because like like. like he won't. He won't say. You can't say anything. Like, like, like people were talking about that. I remember, like Jordan Fries would do. Like the worst thing. Uh, the worst word is always dead. With a, um, the one thing that happened when the Amamania Fries released, everyone was talking about Jordan Fries being dead and Amamania Free released, and then there was still stick stigma behind it. People were still saying, "Oh yeah, it's it's just free. I don't like Fries. I don't like them." Yo, bro, those same people are trying to get Amamania Fries right this moment in time. That's ridiculous. You know what? Some people just need to keep quiet. Really, really. I'm being right. honest. I'm, right, I'm just bro. I'm just talking about 
talking about Jordan ones alone, I, I, you know what? I had to pull up my YouTube history because that's the only way I can categorize my sneakers. <laughs> but I'm using that. I'm using YouTube to categorize my sneakers because I'm like, what did I get this year? All right. So ju just just on the case, right? I'm gonna just say we got elephant print ones, right? We got the actual Laney ones. We've got the I mean, this is just Jordan one high OGs, right? We got the lucky greens that we talked about. Also, we on top of that, we got. Um, uh, um, the Spider-Man ones uh, across the Spider-Man. Spider yeah, yeah um, I, I didn't pick up the black wash, pink wash, which I didn't pick up myself personally. We got the UNC ones. Um, then we also got um, the Union ones, which recently released. The Palomino ones that's uh, released. We're also going to get all these other Jordan like satin breads. Um, no, no, yeah, satin breads, uh, ro uh, suede royals. Been, bro, last two for bro. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The Mount of Jordan one highs. This is the highs. No mid, no lows, bro. The Mount of Jordan one's highs they release per year is ridiculous. And this is why they're easy, more accessible. They filtered into the mainstream and people like that to end up saying Jordan ones are dead. No, not every Jordan. Like Jordan one hype is down. Definitely down. It's definitely down. And I, I still believe what I said uh, a couple of months ago that they need to kind of reduce the stock, do what they need to do to manufacture the uh, stability of that Jordan one so it doesn't kind of flatline. But the Jordan one is not dead, bro. The Jordan one is not dead. Oh, so that same person will pick up the Royal Suede. Probably not. Probably not. I doubt it. This, but this this same dude run up on me talking about uh, helping helping him get the J Balvin threes. No, 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 no. no that's not a, you got two feet. <laughs> bro, I've been saying how how long how long have have you been hearing me say that certain shoes you get no help. Oh, you, 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 but th th you know what? The say th that saying is like, you, you're going to eat from my plate, then shit in my cup, pretty much. No, it ain't even that, dog. It's, <laughs> I mean, does, does that, does that play a role in the back of my mind? Yes, but in the immediate thought process of somebody asking me to help them with J Bob and threes, no, bro. Only, no, nope, no. There's a select list of people that can ask for that type of help from me. You, yeah, retro Rick. That's about it. <laughs> uh, I, feel I feel privileged but you know what I'm going to say like you know what every sneakhead's different every sneakhead's got an opinion you've got to respect their opinion and move on if you don't like their opinion just just mutually just say okay we do, do, agree to disagree that's fine uh, and I, I look bro I'm, I'm semi-triggered by some of the comments but I'm like okay cool you're, you're that type of person you you just want to say what you want to say that's fine you you believe what you want to believe that's fine yeah. but at the end of a day at the end of a day we just need to talk about <laughs> yeah, we need to talk about something else. We know the current climate is buyer's market. We know, and we're going to go into the quick tracks and show you guys with the proof and the evidence that this is a buyer's market. But the narrative is there and the people that are easily susceptible to the narrative will say that narrative. And some people are drawn to the hype and some people just love the sneakers for what they are. And I categorize most of the people that I talk to in terms of loving the sneakers as they are because they'll pick up the sneakers no, no matter the value, no matter the cost, no matter if it drops or goes on sale, they'll still pick up the sneakers because they desire that colorway or that silhouette. But you talking about sneaker people. I'm talking about French people, like casual um, people, like people, oh, yeah, that, yeah. people that that don't watch. This this same person said he ain't got no Instagram, so you know he he not watching really what's going on. He's not understanding how the culture is yeah, moving. He's not understanding how how um hype and trends really work as influence i'm trying to explain to him you're under the influence of trendiness and he's disagreeing he's trying to tell me it's his opinion like no bro because you wouldn't have said that a year ago yeah jordan's jordan ones are dead what you mean that's a that's a trendy statement you know what i'm saying that's that's how that's that's where the the hype has died that's where the trend has gone away. Yes. Going, the, the trend is going towards Solomon. The, the, twin, the trends are going toward New Balance. The trends are going toward Asics. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's an easy off-the-cuff statement to say. Anybody can say that without backing it up. 
I can I, I know if we, but you can't say that to me and, and think we ain't gonna have the conversation. About it. I'm, a, I'm, yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna screen you out the best way I feel uh, possible because <laughs> if I consider you a friend in any capacity, I don't want you to go and repeat foolishness to other people. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but. <laughs> but 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 talking talking about um sneakers and being excited for sneakers bro i was i was talking i was talking to scott this, this week and he basically said you're just generically excited um in in the live that me and cam did recently i said yeah bro i'm always excited about sneakers i'm also excited about new things and innovations and and new colorways and blockings bro this week was um i i was really scared this week that i wouldn't get the corporal gotham there was a situation that happened right you know the, the airship corporal gotham we we didn't realize it was going to be more more of a global release which was amazing because it like, meant a lot of people can get that sneaker we haven't got the sneakers they released for that i don't know if the, you guys in the states have got the sneakers they released for that uh, or, or it's not not sneakers they like sneakers app released for that but it hasn't come with the sneakers app at all I had three chances. I had three chances to get that. Three strikes and you're out, right? I missed it on BSTN when it came out because Dell sent me the message. He goes, "Oh, bro, it's come out," and I checked it twenty minutes later, sold out. Then I, then I saw. Three yeah, bro, it was okay. It was okay. Dell got his sneaker, which is okay. Um, kicks kicks.co.uk released it i missed it and then um i missed all the releases on friday and i thought you know what um i'll, I'll wait for the offspring drop because basically they said on this on their website it's going to drop on the 16th on the 15th bro at 1002 they dropped a message on instagram saying in store now corporate gone they didn't drop them online you know what i did went straight to the store Yep, went straight to the store. Go put put my put my t shirt on, put my cargos on, put my shoes on. Bang, straight to the store. Drove down, drove into drove into central central London. Parked up at Selfridges. By the way, the car park parking it was free. That's a secret, guys. If you live in London, you can actually go and park in Selfridges for half an hour or an hour for free. Go and do that. It's quite worth it if you want to go and pick up some sneakers from Offspring. But guy, on on that right, um, I went there. I got got the got there, and I was like, you know what? Forty minutes past the release, the, the shop opened. They didn't have my size bro mm. and i was like what i was like they, they bought a he asked for size 10 or size 11 us he bought me a size 9.5 uk 10 10.5 us and i can fit a 10.5 i can get away with wearing a 10.5 it's fine hey, I, just tight, like, bro. I got my every game's a 10 and a half they stay tight though. i can wear no, them but man ooh, they tight but if my every game's ten, um, ten and a half, you know, ten and a half as well, and it just fit me okay. I'm, just, I'm, I'm in between. I'm in between yeah, sizes. You're a little bit, you're a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah, exactly, oh. exactly. But on that, bro, like I was, it was so phenomenal to get it in hand to actually smell it. And Dell kept messaging me um, before because when he got his on the on the day before, it was calling me up at like twenty six or seven o'clock. This is how we are. We get really excited about sneakers. We get really excited when the bros pick up sneakers because they end up calling you like you did this week and like Dell did this week as well. Like, yo, bro, have you seen these? It's like they start showing me in the camera. Like, look at the look at the suede. Look at the new bug. Look at the thing. Like, bro, it's phenomenal the sneakers amazing look at the wrapping look at the box it was so dope and then when i got it in hand i felt the same and that, you know what it doesn't matter that sneaker's not going for much of a retail of, of a retail either and but it was I, it was more like a terror squad but it was harder to get because it didn't come out officially um and even the terror squad came out yeah, it was very limited over here, but I know it wasn't in the states. But um, it, no, it, it was, it was. But um, again, bro, we we just at a place, and we gonna we gonna get more into this. Also, we just at a place right now in the game. We predicted um, once we started seeing the trend change, especially when Jordan won, Jordan won highs started to be easy to get we knew then that it's shifting in a direction trending downwards right so we all started making our predictions you know this amount of time is gonna look like this this amount of time bro corporate to get that corporate got them airship it was it was harder to get than the average release sure <laughs> but this ain't this is not what we used to. I'm talking no, speaking no, for, for, no. for for the amount of W I see, and it's all shoe dogs, right? Is is yeah. Mr. V is 
it's uh, Mr. Miller, it's, it's Gabe Fortson, it's, you know, it's the guys that you know, know yeah. how to get you. Know, to speak to you. Right. But the amount of other people that, you know, have hard times with collabs and they're not getting to everything that's that's hot or hype. I'm seeing a lot of people with their corporate got them airship, bro. People, yeah, I know. And the, the, the people that want to airship. wear them as well. People yeah. disrespecting the airship silhouette in general, you know what I'm saying? No. Because I think it's, it's tied to the Jordan 1 at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's, it's tight. You know what? The, the, the name swifts on the airship when going from Nike airship to a Jordan airship has done it massive help. It has yeah, done yeah. it massive help. Like I, I, would, I would say the, the conventional Jordan, Jordan airships aren't getting as much push. Like they're still going on sale. But we're talking about like, every game that that's hard. They, they, like, they, it's not they, really, they really cheap on resale. The every games is like below retail. Also, uh. Yeah. What's the, another shoe? The Callets. The Callet Fives, like uh, 150, bro. No, nah, no, nah, it's 130 here, bro. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, like, no, no, no. The, the white, the white pairs is is doing well. The Crimson yeah. Bliss massively produced, and it's not doing well. That, that's the two differences. But like, um, Joe, like, right. I'm just gonna say, I I had I had, go I had the same. Hey. I might have to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, do it, bro. Feel the force, be the force. Put the callets on. We the best. I'm have to go back here for the Because they don't. My my pair was just messed up, and I was like, all right, well, hey, bro, you got to save some money. That's that sneaker. I just felt like it wasn't gonna break up, make or break my collection. You know, not no sneaker, no one sneaker makes or breaks your collection, right? But, no, no, no. But but it's always nice to have something special. I I feel I feel that Cali is so special. I I and it's so undervalued at this moment in time. Like I do feel like, bro, in a I couple respect, of years. I just I respect that sneaker so much, but I just don't feel like I'm gonna wear it, bro. It's just not my. It's not my my swag, dog. It's not. I can make it work. Yeah, I can make anything. Yeah, work, I make it. But but bro, it, it's it's different. It's different. That's what it is. It's different. It's definitely yeah, it's different. It's about different, bro. I got a lot of different stuff. I was just telling E that when he saw the uh, the unions, he like, bro, that looked like more of my type of sneaker than your type of sneaker. I told him, I didn't even want to do it in the comments. I had to call him. I said, bro, I don't think you know my collection as well as you think you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna say like, um, there's some unique sneakers. The, the homage to Holmes Jordan ones are a unique sneaker. The what the fives is a unique sneaker. The what the fours is a unique sneaker. I would say like the Crimson Bliss Jordan Five Callis is a unique, <laughs> unique sneaker. Uh, the Corporate Gotham is a unique sneaker. The Biohack ones is a unique sneaker. Uh, the Rui Eight so is a semi unique sneaker, but it's more of a weird colorway, but it's not radically different. Uh, the Rebellion Air is a unique sneaker, bro. When you pull it out, people are going to look. That, that that's the type of sneakers that I, I just so unique. That I love because it's like, yo, bro, let me just put something nice on. Let me just let me just rub my hands and see what comes out of the tray today. Speaking of which, let's uh go ahead and get in and start knocking off these quick strikes. Let's go, bro. Have you shout out to uh well, I guess shout out to London. <laughs> the Netflix Lorenzo G mashup air max 95 yeah, I, saw, I, I saw this yeah i Bruh. saw this is top boy this this is a man's shoe right here <laughs> you know what I'm this <laughs> this is what you do when nike gives you the keys to the innovation room this is what you come out of there with bro is it is it Lorenzo official collaboration with Nike or is that just a custom? No, this is friends and family. Okay. Um, samples only to cast and crew of Top Boy. Look at the it come with the map. A map of London. It comes with the London. glass box. Easy, bro. Comes with the glass box. Yo, this is oh man. Come with the Netflix little card, everything numbered. I think it's 30 pairs. Yeah, 30 pairs. Oh, yeah. 
it's all the all the costs, and you know what that 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 um, Air Max is synonymous to London as well. So you know what that yeah, means, bro. Like, and it goes to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it go it goes to all the London crew for Top Boy as well. That is a uh, that is a that's a proper proper sneaker, bro. Proper yeah, sneaker. Man. It's beautiful. So I just I wanted to shout this out because I love ninety fives, as y'all call them one tens. I know y'all got uh, yeah. over there in the UK. It's a special, especially uh, London Street guys. Special, special connection with the um, with the ninety fives. Yeah, um, yeah. Like with the Cortez and the, you know all the other yeah, London yeah. Uh, collabs. This is this is dope. I wish I wish the people could have got a chance to get these, but and that that's you gonna go for a crazy number, bro. I know, I know, but oh, but talking about talking about just um, the climate of sneakers. I know we talked about it earlier in the show. I just want to just kind of go into this um, right this moment in time, which is um, I don't know if you saw this this week, bro. Yeah. Um, Kanye's Grammy worn Air Nike Air Yeezys from two thousand and eight, which actually sold in twenty twenty one, the height of COVID, for one point eight million dollars. Actually, sold for one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Two years on, so when we talk, when, when we talk about, and, and you know what, you could say it's the Yeezy effect that Kanye West has done a lot of bad, um, or, or in the kind of um, the, the uh, public eye, and what's that? What that is forced is that basically people walking away from Kanye and not wanting his sneakers. Maybe that's attributed to the fact that this is why the sneaker didn't sell for much. But bro, it's a Kanye West original warm 2008 Grammy Award sneaker. So the fact that it sold for 1.8 million dollars in 2021 and it's gone for 180 dollars now it shows you how much it's a buyer's market that's i'm gonna use i'm gonna incorporate the take the kanye tax on that because obviously it's downgraded the the sneaker in a way that people are not kind of feeling the Yeezys like they used to but this is a massive this is a massive drop and people probably like will blame kanye for that but i'm i'm gonna say it's not i'm gonna say part but I would say fifty percent of it is maybe. I would say uh, the other fifty percent is not because when we, when we look at that and when you hear a story like this, bro, where the, the game like the game worn airships that Michael Jordan wore, basically in two thousand twenty one sold for one point four million, and then recently in twenty twenty three sold for four hundred six hundred twenty four thousand, bro. That's an eight hundred fifty thousand drop, bro. Yeah. Um all I got to say is... Conrad Borye starts away. Start, starts again. Or was it um, Calamitous Jones, bro? One of the two. One of the two is cl- out here messing up the bag. Um, but yo, bro, I- I'm going to say generically at this moment in time, it's a buyer's market. Definitely a buyer's market. A lot of sneakers are sitting. A lot of hype sneakers are more readily available. A lot of people are getting the sneakers that they want, which is beautiful. But the, the fact that statement items, substantial, iconic items are not selling as well as they did because obviously it looks like the bubbles burst from when we were, when we were with COVID um, it, and people were more like people were more focused and at home with nothing to do, which would then they were focused on, on things like Pokemon and sneakers and all of that stuff, all of the stuff that was more collectible. And this is why we saw sales massively increase for, for like nostalgia uh, stuff like Jordan Warren or Kanye Warren. Once again, this is a, a previous conversation we had about auctions and yep. the point I, I made that I still stand on about this type of uh, news. This is a memorabilia thing. This is not a sneaker thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly that, so, exactly that, bro. I, I don't, I can't, I can't say how much the current climate in the sneaker culture affects these type of things. I think this is, um, this is, this is just bad business. This is just bad investing right here. If I were to buy that airship for 1.47. Why did I buy it? Did I buy it because I love um, sneakers? Did I buy it because I love Michael Jordan? Did I buy it because I love Nike? Uh, Because that's memorable. It's memorabilia at that point, bro. If you got, listen, 
Fat Joe, Khaled, Lil Yachty, Offset, uh, Mayor, like the big, big sneakerheads, they not finna give you 1.4 million for no game. I know, I know. You know what I mean? So that's, that's to me, that's just bad business move. That's bad investing. It's bad timing trying to, uh, trying to get off of it. Like, you can you can kind of watch the sneaker market and gauge the type of interest on this stuff, but the average sneakerhead ain't playing with uh, six hundred twenty-four thousand either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no, no, the, the, the thing is, what 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 kind of YouTube, bro? I think for the person, the, it's it's like stocks, bro. The last person bought it for one point four million. The next person bought it for six hundred twenty-four thousand. So that's a come up. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it'll go up in the future. Over six hundred twenty-four thousand, but if they don't, then that's hopefully the person bought them because they want to keep them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the thing, what I'm what I'm trying to allude to, bro, is basically like in in COVID, and then this this is why I said the the bubbles burst, and uh, there's ma major major things that indicate that, like in terms of what what our climate is, it's a lot, cost of living is quite hard as well, um, and things are more expensive, and this is what's contributing to more or less people being in the set in the different spaces that they were in during COVID. When when I said during COVID, a lot of people had more money accessible because they weren't doing a lot of things like we, me, you, and E, and, no, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not trying to dispute none of that, bro. I was making a no, separate. No, no, I'm, I'm, I know, I know. But what, what, what it is? The same people aren't around in the same spaces. Even in the sneaker world, in the, even in the crypto world, even in the nostalgia yeah, world, world. Yeah. yeah so, so, all that, so when, when, all that's different. So when, so when somebody's trying to sell that airship or that Yeezy, and especially the Yeezy, Yeezy took a massive hit. You took about ninety percent discount on that Yeezy. But when somebody takes a hit like that, you're wondering why did you sell it? Like you said, bro, why are you selling it two years later when you can actually sit on it? Wait for the wait for why the time back on it. And exactly what I think I think is regret buying now because they realized that the fact that maybe it's not as valuable as they thought it was because they probably got evaluated and it came down to what the price was, bro. You shouldn't have put it on the option. Now, now, you, now, I'm, now I'm wondering. The, <laughs> yeah, now I'm wondering those Jordan Thirteen breads that actually the game one Michael Jordan bird Thirteen breads that actually sold quite a lot. Is that the true representative price? Because they actually got brought brought in the current climate. So maybe that price is more reflective to what that sneaker value is than what we saw That's in COVID price. That's different. That's different. These were Jordan's championship shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this game wore airship. Yeah, he wore it in his rookie year, but uh, ain't no championship attached to it. Ain't no mystique. The the level of mystique, there is mystique tied to it. Don't get me wrong. Is it signed? Yeah. It don't look like it's signed. So no, no, no. no. It's, it's levels, bro. It's levels, and people. Yeah, I, I agree. Seems like these these yeah. people just made bad decisions. They they bought them for the wrong hey. reason. They tried to sell them at the wrong time. Exactly, bad decisions, but it's is it's just a consequence of of being in this kind of um, arena. I think you got to make good decisions, very good decisions, and you can't waste your money. But it, it does look like during COVID, a lot of people went crazy. Let's just be honest, bro. <laughs> All right, cool. Moving swiftly on, bro. Um, do you want to talk about the book chapter ones, bro? I do want to talk about these books. Um, a lot of people talking reckless about these, and um. I disagree. We talked about these before, not um, not knowing that this was the official release. I'm not mad at these at all, knowing the inspiration. They inspired by Air Force Ones, Blazers, and Jordan Ones. How else they gonna yeah. look? You know what I'm saying? When we first saw it, what did we say? It looked like uh, Air Force One Pro Tro or something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. What yeah. It is. Didn't Drake, <laughs> Drake wear in in his recent concert or recent fashion show or something yeah. like that? Yeah, he yeah. no, he uh he gifted Drake a pair. He pulled up to I can't remember where they were, but uh, Drake, you know, Drake been on tour all summer, smashing, making all the money, all the yeah. money. But uh, he pulled the book pulled up because you know book and Drake rock with each other. Drake rock with Kentucky book, Kentucky alum. He pulled up, gifted Drake a pair. Drake immediately put them on, rocked out with him. Uh, the whole show gave, uh, gave the crowd a preview, you know, pulled his pant leg up, talked about him and everything. So 
I like these. I like the details on them. Um, yeah. I like the 96 um, on the inside of the uh, the pull tab on the back. He got actually got book on the front, which I love with the Nike swoosh. The colorway is cool because he played for the Suns, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's purple and orange. I love the pull tab. The the way they put all the extra tabs inside. They look yeah, like it pages, sick, bro. Yeah. Look like pages to a book. So I'm rocking with these. I like and, them more than the jaw ones, actually. Ooh. And I'm seriously, seriously considering getting a, a pair of these. Maybe not the orange Ooh. ones. I like the black ones, even though the black ones look a little different. Uh, this orange pair is dope, though. I like him. Yeah. It looks like I, looks I, give looks a, I give him a four on a scale of one to five as far as first sneakers. Yeah. But I like them. What you think? I I, I I like them too. I definitely like them too. There's another sneaker. There's another uh, signature sneaker we're gonna look at. But then I'll, I'll have to kind of ask your question. But moving swift, I, I like them. I, I I do think they're dope. Uh, moving swiftly on, bro. I I need to know. Um, I, I need to know w- w- the full story about the six fifty Joe Fresh goods because I think we got it wrong last week, did we? We didn't necessarily get it wrong. We just didn't have a full story. Okay. Cool. So, uh, uh, Apparently, there was a lawsuit. I don't. I don't think we talked about the lawsuit aspect of the story. No, 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 no. We didn't. We didn't. So, New Balance did the photo shoot. Jordan had on the six fifty, which is why Joe Fresh Goods, you know, did the six fifty. Blah blah blah. That's we know all that. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, Nike then um, once Jordan became a part of the brand recreated the photo shoot <laughs> because the jump, the jump man photo shoot yeah the one yeah, the iconic yeah. one with the, with the sunset background yeah 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 yeah, yeah. right because they like wanted it. they wanted uh the jump man pose to be the logo new balance oh. didn't didn't have the foresight to say you know let's make this photo a logo but we know we didn't see the jump man until what well, on a shoe in t- until the threes. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, I think the lawsuit has something to do with the fact that we didn't have a jump man sooner than the threes. Okay, that, that's quick. Uh, that's quite interesting because basically, do you, you say you saying that uh, maybe possibly that the jump man would have been there from the day scratch in terms of the Jordan one or, or the Jordan two? I mean, the jump man is wearing Jordan ones. Yeah, yeah. So we we could have had the jump man as early as twos, or maybe one lows, or maybe a you know a, a sample or a prototype out there of a Jordan two with a jump man on it, you know. But the lawsuit part, you know, I I don't know um like the full details of it, but um, mm-hmm. reliable sources reported that there was a lawsuit behind the uh, Jumpman logo, Nike, you know, creating the Jumpman logo off of a picture that was taken for New Balance. And like the artists in New Balance and Nike was pretty much going at it behind the rights to create okay. the Jumpman logo off of that picture. If, if that's true, that kind of semi-rewrites history a bit because then it kind of like means, no, not rewrites history, history. it kind of it brings more meaning to the reason why we got the jump man on the free than 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 it's sooner because um we what we re, what we think is the ju- jump man was on the free and that was officially the Jordan sneaker but possibly it could have been the Jordan one that was going to be the Jordan sneaker but they couldn't put a Jordan logo on it and yeah, then like know, it like it. eventually you know we did get they did start throwing jump mans on on the Jordan one and well, now I understand back. why. Yeah, but what what if they replace instead of coming out with a wings logo? I don't think it would look the same if we had a jump man on the, on the actual latch side. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I mean, they come on, it's them. They can do whatever, right? But I don't think you. Nah, I don't think it would go over too well. In, in another dimension, far, far away. 
the wings logo, bro, on the side of the Jordan one with the swoosh. Just it's just the way it's supposed to be. Iconic. It's iconic. But like the, the, it's it's hindsight. Basically, if you didn't know, if you if you wasn't you already used to it for have seen that for like thirty eight years. Maybe if you saw the jump man, you would be more used to that. Like I'm saying, in a, in a dimension yeah. far far away, they could have used the jump man on the side, and we they used to the jump man on the side rather than the wings logo. And if they see the wings logo, they probably call it a fugazi. And if we saw the jump man on the side, we call it fugazi because it doesn't sit right. But overall execution, I think the wings logo is. Probably a more far superior yeah. logo to have on Jordan One than it is to have the Jumpman because it takes more. Uh, it, like kind of the spread of the Wings logo is so like better placed on the same, actual. Same, the same thing with the two. Yeah. I don't want no Jumpman on the front of the, the Jordan Two. The Wings logo is perfect on the front of twos. Whether whether you like the yeah. colorway or not, when you just look at the silhouette, if you looked at a, a triple white Jordan Two or a triple white Jordan One. Their wings logo belongs where they where they are. You know what I'm saying? You now, just, you now, can't beat it, bro. You can't whether it's now, a patch, whether it's embossed, debossed, you can't beat it. Just like a four. The, the yeah, jump not, in on the front of the foes, you can't yeah, yeah. beat it. If if that was a wings logo, it would look odd. It would look odd. It's a, and that's what that's me saying like we're so used to what we're used to if it wasn't the same we'll be not used to it facts yeah so oh, I just oh, oh, I, I, I want to I want to straighten that out man and let you know for, for those of us that didn't know or didn't hear the the news on that whole situation it's, it was a little yeah. bit deeper so this collaboration yeah, makes even more sense to me like <laughs> it's almost like taking yeah. a shot at Nike a little bit yeah, it's kind of interesting that like that. I kind of like learning little bit of facts like that. But talking about facts before we move on to the next uh, quick strike, bro. Did you know? Did you know, bro? This is mystery time, bro. <laughs> I love this music. Uh, did you know, right? Michael Jordan in his rookie year signed a contract which was worth six million dollars for seven years, right? Mm. Yeah, you know that. So today. It takes him 8.6 days to accumulate 6 million, which is 294 million a year. Now imagine, that's crazy. Imagine it takes him 8.6 8 days to accumulate the same he did in the rookie year. But that goes back to what we were talking about ages ago when that guy kind of called out Michael Jordan for being broke. How are you going to be broke, bro? But that's not all his money. That's the hey? brand's money. It's not all his yeah, money. Yeah, that's Jordan Brand. But like, I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Eight point six, eight point six days to accumulate six million for Jordan Brand. Yeah, when I when I saw that, that was the first thought came to my mind. But that's not his money. Like all that money is not going in his pocket. That money is the business's yeah. money. A lot of that money is being allocated to uh, infrastructure and you know pay payroll and yeah. research and development and all that. So. But nah, he come on, bro. The like you said, that's why we ain't really want to go for say it. it. Say it. You want you want to say it. You really want to say it. I mean, we we know he paying himself, but come on, bro. He, he sure he's a bastard. But he ain't a girl, bro. <laughs> I, I was waiting for you to say the bastard goat himself. I was waiting for you to say that, yeah, bro. He's he's the bastard goat. You got to put the good. I mean, with the, with the, whether you like him or not, he ain't broke, bro. <laughs> he's nah, not nah. broke. He might have got played. He might have got played on that deal for real, but that don't mean he broke. Nah, he nah, 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 rich nah. As some other rich guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You look, that's that, that's that's a different league. Let's keep, let's leave it there. Let's be honest. That's the billionaires, millionaires league. We're not even right. touching that at the moment. You, right. you never know what how could happen next or tomorrow or next next day. But we're not touching that at this moment in time. But talking about sneakers, bro. It's time we looked at this. You were telling me about the Gore Tex Jordan Six, bro. Yeah. Um. I don't know how to feel about this colorway. Um, so women's exclusive. It's going to be two fifty. It, it drops on the 29th of um, November. Two fifty for you guys, probably two two twenty 
hit probably 250 to 220 yeah i can understand why the gore-tex like even with the gore-tex 5 that they did there was actually more expensive it was, it was a woman exclusive as, as well and that was like 190 195 something like that why do you keep doing gore-tex women exclusives i don't understand I don't but anyway uh hopefully they come as thin the sizes because this is a really um neutral colorway i'm not mm -hmm. a big fan of the colorway with the purple up top and the green on the bottom i don't i don't understand that um yeah when they were colorway like this recently with the jordan six that oh no no that was the jordan seven sorry that's my mistake right that was the beffy yeah and the, uh also the you can kind of say that yeah the afro beats afro yeah the beffy yeah, the beffy, the, uh, the beffies were uh tan and orange with the Hirachi, um, you know, the Hirachi twist on it. But um, actually, that was a seven, yeah, the, with the Hirachi twist yeah, on seven. But yeah, yeah these, yeah. I, I respect these. Um, it's, it's the first Gore-Tex 6. It's, it's nice. This, yeah, this yeah, is a yeah, TJ yeah. shoe right here. I think this is a TJ hey. shoe. Am I wrong? No, no I'm, I'm not. I'm I'm actually just, I'm actually wearing away from it for some reason. Well, you like Travis. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm 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 being a bit more selective because I I I, I like I like the colorway. I don't understand the purple. I like the colorway. I do like the colorway. The, the gray the gray with the actual tan wheat colorway on this is good. The Gore-Tex is really good for winter. Um, I've got the I've got the win I had the winter I was twelves. I smashed them to bits. I've got the Gore I've got the <laughs> Gore-Tex fives. I've got the um the the threes as well. The threes are beautiful, bro. Yeah, the four. I got. I got two winterized fours. I actually use one, and and I've I've got one nice. Um, uh, the the winterized threes, bro. The colorway on that is so good. Like, no, and it's the, a thing. The was, it's a thing. Think about it. Yeah. We're getting these this year, right? Last year yeah. it was the threes, similar colorway. Year before, fourteens, yeah. similar colorway. Yep. Yeah. So. I don't know if I, I'm cool with the with the winterized, you know, the boot khaki color, but uh, it's it's going to be really it's going to be a really warm sneaker because it's all in aligned, it's all it's all heavily padded, it's all kind of rebuffed, so you can actually wear it and keep your feet warm in the winter, especially in the UK, it gets really cold. But I don't know in hot hot climates, I don't think it's going to sell that well. But um, the the, the winterized six is good, like the, the, it's a dope. The Gore-Tex, it, it, like we're going to call it the winterized Gore-Tex six because it's going to be a tank of a sneaker. But um, it's I, I like the colorway. I think it's I think it's for people that want to enjoy, enjoy that colorway. Maybe that people that haven't got the Travis Scott sixes that want to wear it's that it's, it's a nice colorway. Nice colorway. Don't do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it on purpose. Bro, you, you say you, no. You poor man in the sneaker without saying the words "poor man." I never said I'm not gonna let you I do that. Now, no, no. I you said if you don't have the Travises and you want to get these instead, because you because you don't have Travises, that's poor man, bro. Don't. Mm. Guilty, guilty. I I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. But uh, bro, it's it's a very independently different colorway. I I do like it. Whoa, whoa what's that for? The what are you yellow shooting me for, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Man, bro. We frown. We frown upon poor man, and so I can't. I can't let you get away with. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Okay, I, I respect that. I do respect that. Moving swiftly on, bro. I know, I know you didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean to. I, 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 I didn't objectively, objectively mean to, but I, I, I just kind of disrespecting the sneaker. Like I said, the Gold Tech Six is good. Like I do, I do think a lot of people. And you know what? This Jordan Six might appeal to way more uh, small feet gang than it does to actually guys as well. I do reckon that. I don't think so. I think these people that like boots should buy these. Cause they they mm -hmm. they nice man they nice that tan nice. that tan is nice I just the purple throw me off. But now 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 um quick we're gonna have a quick look dude. look at this it's gonna be a quick brief look bro um bro this summer twenty twenty four the 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 latte Jordan Stop. one high OGs. Stop. Hmm? Stop it. I know. Jordan <laughs> Brand. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Tell me that's not a mocha, bro. Why? Look, 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 look. This is a mock-up. This is a mock-up. This is a mock-up. I, 
I know it's a mock up. I hope it's not going to look like this. I hope it doesn't look like this because right, if it right. does look like this, if we it does look like pralines. this, we just got pralines. Yes, yes, we did. Same, same um, year we, we got wash pinks. I'm, let me just say, is this the coffee range now? Because I'm talking about the mochas, I'm talking about the lattes, I'm, I'm going to get some caramels, I'm going to get some fra- frappes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't I know, bro. I hope this um, mock up is so wrong. It looked it look, it look nice, but it's it's the mocha. It's a light mocha. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Um, bro, what... What would what would make this different if if they actually had the uh, white panels near the actual ankle black? You know those two panels that are white. If they actually had them, black, why I don't like the, the mocha. We were just mocha. talking about it last week. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, but what if this has got a Chicago look to it? Well, does that change your mind? Then it would be the rookie of the year again. Yep. yep. So just just re release the rookie of the year then. I, I and you know what the Parlines is very similar to the Rookie of the Years as well. It's, and the wash pink. <laughs> and and the 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 uh the the damn what's the one the uh heirloom. Yeah you can't tell me that ain't a pollen. Nah, oh. so, the, 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 we, yeah, yeah, we get the ultra, ultra, ultra yellow variation, which is another Chicago yellow variation, bro. Like, um, bro, so, I'm just now, saying see, that that makes sense, right? That makes sense yeah. because the pollen is yep. just black and yellow, the taxi is a uh, yellow toe, yeah, and now yep. we're getting a Chicago color blocking. This is the yep. same exact black to color blocking as a mocha with a lighter brown. If this is real, they need to stop. Yeah. I hope, I hope this mock up is just one of the trashest mock ups we've just seen recently. We, 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 the mocha mock up was wrong too, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. We'll have that discussion when we see the sneaker in real life. This is obviously a mock up. We're getting triggered over a mock up, but um, I'm going to say let's have a look at the sneaker when it when it actually t- does kind of flower itself into the social media, and then we can actually see what it looks like. But I'm just going to say, for from my perspective, if this is the latte, this they need to kind of stop what they're doing with the Jordan one because um, even though we respect and we love it, I I I'm kind of is, is a lot of people have got the Jordan one fatigue. A lot of people got Jordan one fatigue. I, and and like, bro, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. And if it's you haven't still, seen this before, yeah. it still look good. <laughs> Hold on, are you liking the lattes? It looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, you know what? We need to stop. We've been trashing the sneaker, right? We've we'll been trashing the sneaker for quite a bit. No, no, no. I'm not trashing the sneaker, bro. Look, there you go. That's your that's your yellow card. No, 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 no. I'm not I'm not trashing the sneaker. Because we agree. You said it if the collar was black. And so now I'm I'm just sitting here looking at the picture, imagining the collar being black. Are you gonna definitely get in the white the white tongue with the with the black tongue tag? Like it looked good, bro. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on from that notion. Um and, and, and talk and talk about uh, one of the other signature sneakers, bro, the LeBron 21. Um basically evolves from a low cut from his 20. Uh, it comes with zoom turbo uh, uh, unit in the foot four foot bottom loaded 13 millimeter zoom unit in the heel and a full length cushion 2.0 foam carrier and it's modeled over off from an oyster shell that that bro the way it's curvatured on the actual uppers is beautiful that that hint of that orange on that sneaker with that white is absolutely phenomenal i like this a lot scroll, scroll the picture man i like this sneaker a lot bro oh, it's, it's, go back go back one that one. Yeah. Nice. They're nice. I like them. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron the, th- cool. the thing about LeBron shoes. Yo, bro, look at the inner lining. Look at the inner lining, bro. Yeah, it's got like a cage yeah. in it. Like, a, a, what's the shoe? It's, it's kind of like a bacon. The Gary Payton, the gloves with the ribs yeah. on it. 
Yeah, 95s. Yeah. This is probably yeah. one of the hardest Jordan uh, LeBron sneakers to come out uh, since the 20. LeBron? I like the 20. No, 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 Jordan LeBron. I mean LeBron. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I just said Jordan by accident. We ain't doing more. We ain't no, doing more. No, no, no. Nobody heard it. Nobody heard it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, so the, 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 the LeBron 21 is dope, bro. I, I thought the LeBron 20 was good. Absolutely good. This is phenomenal. This no, is really um, good. The thing about LeBron's shoes is they always look the best on his feet. Yeah, the, the, the also what you find uh, I got LeBron 15s and I got like, I got like, all the others sort of, like South Beaches, Big Bangs and stuff like that. But what I do say LeBron the cushioning with the LeBrons is higher. So even with the 15s it, it feels like you know you're higher up off the ground and it's a bit yeah. unstable like a, yeah you are. You definitely you're a bit unstable um but once you bite it in once you get used to it you're fine. This is why LeBron being a bigger athlete but heavier guy actually work that works for him and his and his impact for, for playing kind of basketball. This is why you know, these are engineered for basketball players. And you know LeBron um what's the opposite of pigeon toe? You know he he when he walks his his feet go outward. Yeah 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 yeah. His, the way he walks, because like I walk, I walk straight line. Like my my yeah. feet kind of kick out a little bit. I no, nah, bro. LeBron shoes are made for LeBron James. And yeah, they, they, yeah. They, yeah. You know what this is? This is if Shaq's shoes were super duper popular, more yeah. popular than they were. They were popular when they came out. Let me not hate like that but like we know normally the bigger guys have trouble with signature sneakers traditionally guards because um you know the flair the difference in flair and the, and the style of play and all that kind of stuff you know going into design because big dudes need more structure they need more function not that smaller guys don't need function but yeah, the guard <laughs> shoes tend to be easier to wear. Jordans, Iversons, um, Kobe's, you know, ain't nobody try to walk around in Shaq's and LeBron's all the time. Like <laughs> the couple of LeBron's I just stuck my foot. I had to do 17s uh, graffiti's. I love that sneaker, bro. I had to sell it. Oh, yeah. I love the sneaker, bro. I had to sell it. It made it oh, to me. It made what? me. Yeah. The the, uh, the OG graffiti's the uh, LeBron Four graffiti's about to come out too. They about to they about to Ooh. drop it in a week or so. Um, but yeah, bro, I had to sell them because they I felt like I was wearing a thirteen, even though it was an eleven, and they were tight. Like I could tell that this is my right size. I need to go play basketball in these. But guess what? I'm not going to do yeah. go play basketball. Basketball in these. <laughs> so. they're, they're predominantly they're predominantly a basketball team. But I'm going to say I'm going to say the last couple of silhouettes from my, uh, from LeBron have actually been more of a um, I would say more of a streamlined low cut that you can actually Seven, wear as a lifestyle. Nice. Yeah. 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 Even 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 the twenty and the twenty one, you can. It's more of a. It come, you can kind of transition it more into a lifestyle sneaker. And more I think like I think uh, it's yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was gonna say. They're more like Kobe's. I think the inspiration comes from Kobe's as well, which is awesome. But now the question is, bro, what are you picking, jars, books, or LeBron's? Uh, I want to choose. Oh, that's tough, man. The yeah, LeBron twenty ones, LeBron twenty ones, or LeBron twenties. The twenty ones, twenty ones, twenty ones. Did what you okay. just see now? LeBron twenty ones, jaw ones, and book ones. Oh my god, that's tough. I'm gonna have to dump LeBron. Oh, that's a controversial oh. one, bro. I'm gonna have to dump LeBron, bro, because the jaws and the books look better to me. Really? Yeah. And uh, against um, my preference, because I prefer the books, but I'm going to just go, I'm going to go with style. I'm just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this off style. I'm going to go against my preference. I'm going to lose the books and choose the jaws 
because I think the Jaws are more stylish than the books, but I like the books more than the Jaws also. Okay. Just that's just on looks. Cause it's Nike. We know the tech is gonna be good. We know the shoe gonna feel. I see a lot of jaws on feet, bro. They don't. They, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say bro, this. That, my that, that, that jaw one claw. Somebody. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Ninety nine brought him up to me the other night. That that the, the Grizzlies colorway, the green with the with the scratches on them. Bro, that's that should resell them for like four fifty. Oh damn. Them job ones, they they crushing out here in the streets, bro. I seen them in Florida when we went on vacation. I kept seeing jobs. When I go to the mall, I see jobs. Those they that reset them for like four. that. That colorway is correct. LeBron twenty ain't got no. The LeBron twenty ain't got no colorway better than this, bro. The, I, I'm and, gonna I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this reminds me of the Kyrie uh, Kobe uh, the, the yellow um. The Bruce uh, what you call it? And Bruce Lee, yeah, that's the ones. But just the Grizzly colorway, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah. Just, no, no, no. Out of those three silhouettes, the job one, the book one, the, granted, the book one ain't even dropped yet. <laughs> we only seen a couple colorways. The, the, the LeBron 21 ain't dropped yet. That job one is crushing everything either one of them silhouettes got right now. I, I'm I'm gonna pick I'm I'm gonna pick Le LeBron. I'm picking LeBron. I'm uh-huh. dumping the books and I'm I'm giving away the the or, or choosing jars. the uh, jars. Yeah, because jars are popular. I know jars are really popular, but there's something about this colorway. There's something about the LeBron Twenty One that's catching my eye. It's the swoosh. It looks like it's a stitch swoosh or a predominantly foam swoosh. I don't know. I have to, I have to, I have, to, I have, to have a proper look. It's got swoosh on the actual outsole as well. The orange touches to this brings so much it's depth. Fused. To this and also, the whole, the whole and sneaker look fused. Fused. Yeah, exactly. And oh, and the ocean. The, the the what do you call oyster shell uh, out of out of upper lot on that it looks dope that that's actually draw you know why if it was any other colorway I don't think I feel the same but this colorway looks clean bro okay so I need to see you with these I'm tempted I'm really tempted I need to see you with these you talking reckless and you ain't no little guy I mean you ain't tall as LeBron but and you you work out you weight train so. These are yeah. probably do great for you in the gym. Oh, bro. Well, That's they might not be good as trainer ones though, because trainer ones got that base, that wide base. Yeah, yeah. I, I, know I, you I, I the trainers I, in the gym, so. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm gonna see what, what it does um, when it comes out. But it's a good sneaker, definitely good sneaker. Uh, moving swiftly on, bro. <laughs> Let's have a look at the J Balvin NASCAR, bro, because this is uh, something that came up this week. Uh, it looks like uh, it was I can't remember the company that did it. T- Tyler, Tyler Reddick is basically driving the J Balvin Jordan Free Medal in Sunset as a car. It looks dope. Did you say Medellin? Med Med Medellin Medellin. <laughs> you know I'm the grammar <laughs> police. I gotta get you. I gotta get you. <laughs> last week, last week it was Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay, I'm educated. Nah, nah, nah. You know I gotta get you, bro. It's me. It's not you. It's me. Um, yeah. But yeah, nah. This this is dope, bro. Uh, I just I wonder why they they rolling uh, with Toyota. I never liked the Toyota. The look of the uh, the Camry. Uh, stock cars, but the the, the color scheme is dope. Um, yeah. J Balvin pulled up, MJ pulled up, and they both had the threes on. It was it was so dope to see Mike actually wearing the J Balvin threes. Mm-hmm. It just made me smile, bro. It made me <laughs> smile. This is one thing about. Michael Jordan, the bastard goat that I always love. He going to wear his damn shoes. He going to wear the mids. He going to wear the lows, the retro lows, the OG lows. He go, you never see him wearing the hype stuff. You yeah. rarely, rarely do you see him wearing the hype stuff, but because he was pulling up the, the car master shoe, he knew Jay Bowen was going to be there. So he repped the brand, he repped the collab, 
And it was a beautiful scene uh, to see him and Jay Balvin hugging. They both got the threes on. The car is there. We know Michael Jordan loves motorsports. Yes. It's just a beautiful situation, man. Beautiful situation. The yeah. shoe is dope. Um, it's not. I'm liking it more and more. I'm still, not going, I'm still not going to go for it for myself. And that that uh, that custom that Vic Almighty did on the fours made me like these threes more because I didn't like his custom. I'm like, bro, you ain't <laughs> Vic Almighty dope. I mean, shout out to him. I just I just didn't like the 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 way he spun it on the fours. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, this is this is dope, dog. This is dope. Like the like the black cement car, like the Concord car. Yep. They gonna switch it up, and they got plenty of ammunition. Ain't no <laughs> racing team out there got more ammunition than Team Jordan to come out there and stun on y'all with these paint jobs, man. Yeah, they, they, they've got they've got the they did a UNC one recently as well, didn't they? As well, yeah, they can do whatever. Yeah. But talk, talking about talking about uh, moving into the quick shot <laughs> about the Jordan Freeze. Now let me tell let me tell let me paint you a scenario. Let me get this canvas out. Lyrically paint you a scenario here because basically I want you to realize what could possibly happen this week coming um, if you are going for the J Bab and Jordan Freeze. So. We know in the states on Friday they did an exclusive access, um, and a lot. I think some people copped them, some people didn't. Um, some people got the exclusive access, Nobody which is good. I I know a person that got it, and this is this is crazy. Now watch this. So the person I know, she, he knows my missus, and he lives in the states, um, and they 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 they're friends. Um, so he was out there. He's a secret. He's like a semi secret sneakerhead. He picks up Reeboks. He used to work for uh, I think Reebok before. Um, he got an exclusive access for the J Bab and Jordan Freeze. He didn't realize until three hours later. Yeah. What? But, you know, but, but but listen to this one. But this listen is to like, this. Shout out to Mars. Remember when Mars missed the Lost and Founds? Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> but but you would have thought you would have thought you would have thought he didn't cop. He copped three hours later. What? Size fourteen. What? Now you tell me what the hell was going on. I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. Let, let's see. Let's see what happens this week. I'm just putting this out there. I'm just letting you guys judge from that situation because I didn't lie. I got told this as factual and um, basically it happened. So you judge by that what you want to judge by that. But like I said, sneakers ain't selling out like they used to. Even collaborations are easier to get. Hold on. Checking the price right now. It's expensive. It's still expensive, bro. But yeah, that that was that was my little story for the J. Robin Jordan. Size fourteen is five fifty five. Yeah, it's going down. How could, you possibly, how could you possibly cop? I yeah, don't know. Uh, size eleven was uh, it was around six six fifty or something like that a few days ago. But still, because I'm I'm going in for Rick, so. Um, <laughs> I still, I'm still not trying to cop for myself. I'm going in for Rick because he won him for the toe. So, um, I'm, that's the reason I'm watching it because you know me yep, and him yep. communicating about it, trying to figure out, um, you know how to how to secure his pair. You now, know? now, now, yeah, your my, my size is half the price that it was last week, so it was like four hundred sixty five pounds. That's gonna sit all around by maybe three hundred, two fifty, three hundred. But basically, when it releases, but basically, I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, bro. That story's no lie. It actually happened three hours later on a size 14 exclusive access and he still copped. In the US? In the US, bro. How does that happen? <laughs> that is miraculous. <laughs> Uh, bro, if, if 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 this is if well this this this, this definitely happened, but Everybody's saying the sneakers limited, bro. This my Khaled. Mm. That would be a good thing. That would be a good thing. Yeah, 
and all, and also on top of that, I want that to happen. And all, yeah, and also on top of that, um, I don't think that will happen. I think this is going to be a sticker that sells out. But I'm so I was surprised when I heard that because that shocked me. I was like, no, 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 you're lying. And I, I saw all the receipts. I know that's true, and that actually happened. And, he, and I've got he's the got him signed. I know all that stuff. He showed me the, the dates, the times, and all that stuff. But I'm telling you, this happened. This actually happened. So if it, like if if that's true. It might be an easier cop. Like, just be, so, let's be honest. It might just be an easier cop. You know, you don't know. We don't know the sneaker market. And also on top of that, the sneaker is is like what two twenty five there, not two two fifty there. Sorry, yeah, two fifty. Yeah, two fifty. So basically, that's going to be two 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 fifteen. The two twenty. It might be putting off a lot of people from that tax price. Yeah, US two seventy after tax. And depending yeah, where you live, if you, if you live in a high, if you cop in a high tax city or county. Mm-hmm. You, you could be looking at anywhere from 270 to 280. Yeah. Yeah. So so that, that that might be putting off people. And a lot of people didn't buy the Cali's because it was quite expensive. They were lower about the same price as the Balvin. So um, it'll be interesting to see how they do. We'll, we'll catch up next week on that because basically I, I do feel it's, it might be an easier cop. I, a lot, I don't think a lot of people, are, you know what? I, it might be secret strategy because I don't think a lot of people been doing reviews on this. They do not, there's not much of them out there. A lot of people think this might be limited and people probably go in for it because of the actual resale and the resource, the price it is because of, there's not a lot out there. So basically, 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 people anticipate they might be limited, and if, if a lot of people no. get them on release date, this the this the hyper this the hyper shoe of the year. I, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying it's the hyper new shoe of the year. No, no, I'm saying it is. Yeah, I, I'm so, uh, yo. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not arguing about that. It is bought bought the hyper No, 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 no. I, I just. I'm just saying it is. It is, yeah. bro. That's why the price is what this. This is the highest presale price we've seen this year. <laughs> But do I do feel if this sneaker was more out there in terms of more people having it, I don't think the resale would be that high. Even with the hype, we know. And, I'm, and I, this, 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 why I say this with the knowledge of what's previously happened with like the Union one. We, and I, know, I know the Union one's a bit of my, my, they, like, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people liked no, no. it. Let's, just, let's, uh, stay, let's stay with the Khaled. Let's stay with the Khaled. Yeah. you Because you, you said this might Khaled. The Khaled wasn't this hype? No, it was. It was. I'm um, not. The thing is, the the, the, no, the thing. No, no, the, no, 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 no. The, the crimson. Once, once we, once we found out that we were getting the crimson bliss and the sale, the hype flattened out at a certain point. And then, I, I, the closer we got to the release, the price just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. You, you know, you know what it is. Let me, you mean, we're a week, we week out, we're a week out, and they still 400. Plus, yeah, let, me, let me, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you why that is. The Khaled was more out there, people getting it, people That's getting Khaled. gifted it. Yeah, That's no, no, he was, he run around, yeah. spread them around, just like Fat Joe's doing with the ones, and they're not going for money, they're going for like 200. They yeah, and this, this, is my, this is my, this is my whole point, bro. Not a lot of people have got these Balvins in hand. You know, I, 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 I get I get what you're saying, but that with from what we know as sneakerheads and and you know copping and especially these high heat cops that we that we go for when that happens, the odds of this sneaker being <laughs> like the Khaled release reduce. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it, it only on like the thing is, the the, how, the way I look at it is, if 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 this sneaker comes out and there's the same quantity as the Khaled, and basically everybody gets them, the sneaker the resale is dropping automatically. Are you right? are you if, saying are you saying that you think that they made as many of these as they made Crimson Bliss Khaled fives? I'm asking. I'm asking you, yes or no? Do you think they did or not? Um, I think it's in between the sale and of Crimson Bliss. I think. I think there's they've they've been pulled back from being ceded to people um, because of what happened with the Khalids. I believe that there's more stock than we believe there is. Uh, and I believe, that, and the only reason why I'm going on that is because of what happened like on Friday with, with co- somebody copying that three hours later. I believe like if it was super limited, then that guy wouldn't have, have copped it not three super, hours later. That's super, not, not, not like, uh, we're not talking Travis Mocha. We're not talking, uh, I love no. 
No, no, no. We're not talking. I, uh, I, think, I personally think there's enough pairs to go around for this sneaker. Okay. For people that want it. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see next week. Um, and the, the only, the, the, I would not be talking like this if that situation didn't happen on Friday. I would be saying. No, no, no. I, I understand. I understand your logic on on that piece. That's why I asked the, the question. I wanted to get a yes or a no from you. It sounded like a no because you said between. So that's a no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. There no, aren't. I, there aren't as many of these as there are. Calic crimson, crimson bliss. And that may be why the price is where it is, and we haven't yep. seen as many people with the pairs already. Yeah, there, I know, even I know. though we know there are early pairs, but and we know yeah. the climate is different, so people ain't I, rushing I to pay five hundred for a shoe that they're not sure of the stock. Yeah, because if it come I, out yeah. and do a Calic, remember when Polo bought the uh, yeah it, next one too. for twelve hundred. Oh, bro! I, I, I know. I'm gonna say, Polo, if you listen to this, I can't believe you said that sneaker was gonna be sold for six hundred pounds, six hundred dollars, or eight hundred. No, you said you said he, he, I think Polo said eight hundred, but he bought them for six or something like that, or seven or whatever. He bought them for like twelve or something. He bought. He paid a stupid number for. Them. I can't. I can't remember now. But I think he was, no, like, he he was, was like three months early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but and then like a lot that that kind of sneaker is going for like maybe three fifty four hundred when it came right. out, it's settling about four hundred. Right. It's, well, it's going for mocha prices. I, I don't. I, I still don't believe. I don't still believe the this. The, I, I to be honest, let's have a, let's have a look at the. I know we go we're going into the subject a bit, but yeah. let's have a look at the resale and it's <laughs> yeah. We're, we're a week out it's 464 where last week it was a thousand pounds it's already 50 percent of the price it was the, the right. week before on release day it'll be 50 percent of the price it is now in in theory so we're talking about 275 250 so from that from that perspective alone bro i i, I i'm just saying what i see is what i kind of inform you guys on and this is what i saw and what i saw i heard on friday and this is what i'm telling you because i do believe that that balvin will be more obtainable than we think it is and i think the stock has been held back from people getting it because I believe that that sneaker they want to make sure it doesn't cal it. That's not a thing. If people if people can get the shoe, they're gonna get the shoe. It's on stock X, yeah, exactly. so we got the shoe. The price is is more of the reason why more people ain't got it than it's not out there to, to have. Clearly it's out there. Um do some of some of the sneakers we I've seen uh oh well, so some of the sneakers I've seen I've, I've been told seen are like, aren't real the UAs. Full size run on stock X that's all I gotta say. They might, maybe they UA, maybe they ain't. I don't buy early from StockX. That's on y'all. Nah. You can get but exactly. You want to hit that button, man? Think again. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Nike basketball holiday twenty three. Oh yes, oh yes, bro. I want to talk about this situation. Go Holiday Pro Tro Reverse Grinch, whatever they're calling it, the it's the red, black, and green Kobe Six. We ain't got to talk about that no more. Yeah, Kobe bro, Four, boy. Kobe Four, Black Mamba. I ain't got no more conversation for you. <laughs> yeah. The one Zombie Halloween. It's it's out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't like it. It's out of here, though. I'm not feeling the, the Halloween sneakers this year for some reason. Me neither. Me neither. Mm. They, 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 um, they, I, it's the mommy, the mommy dunk. The mommy dunk made a lot of trouble for Halloween. Yeah. For it. Yeah, I, I, I hope the SP SP's come up with something that's going to blow it out of the park, but I, I can't see it at the moment. They probably, they need to come with an adjacent or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, Michael Myers or something. Um, yeah, it's just a machete, machete on your foot. That's your right. right. You're good. Right. <laughs> the, the, the real Warren Lotus goes. Um, <laughs> like the blue freak five Giannis's fifth signature sneaker. It looks real throwbackish and yeah, new age at the same time. It reminds me of uh, early two thousand Nike basketball sneakers, except it's low. Back then, it probably would have been mm -hmm. a mid or high. 
But um, LeBron 21 is what we talked about. It's out of the yep. park. LeBron, LeBron on the roll. Yeah, yeah. Nike, full force low. Ooh. I feel like I want to buy a pair of these. What are you I, feeling? The red, the black, or the UNC? I'm looking at the white and black one. Yeah, I thought you would be. That's the that's that's a good colorway. It's clean, bro, with the gray, the little bit of uh yeah. Nike orange on the tongue. Listen, man, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be able to walk in the store and, and see these. So I ain't yeah. gonna trip. Can you, see, can you see the swoosh on the midsole? Yes. Yeah, I, I thought you. I was waiting for you to see that. No, I see it all, bro. I see it. I see. I, okay. I, 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 I can't say if I ever seen this shoe before in my life, but it looks like something that came out when I was three, and I love it. <laughs> keep going, keep going, bro. Um, now I wanna. Okay, we saw the terror scores already. Yeah, yeah, and the foam night form positive one. I'll, I'll be okay. seeing the terror scores this week. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Trouble, the trouble, trouble. Air Force One 07 Halloween. Yeah, that's trash, bro. I'm going to say yeah. that. That's trash. I don't like it. it. They might as well put a Kobe tag on it and call it Black Mamba. Yeah. I, 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 I thought that, I, that, bro, like, I the like leather, that. The I leather like, looks um, ridiculous. Yeah, it does. But I, I remember when, and I, well, this is just a while back, but remember when the Air Force One had the footprint, the white footprint, the black footprint, the black, uh, all black yeah, with the white skeleton. print. Skeleton, skeleton. I love that. That's just dope. And then they, they introduced the purple variation of it. They introduced the orange variation of it. They introduced a couple. Uh, I don't know why. I don't, I, I, I kind of got, I think they should have stuck with the black and white and maybe even the purple, but then like, it just, I just, it's just the, not, black, the black one is I'm the best. Them. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, they, they cool. The the materials look look crazy. Uh, they cool, but not for me. The I do bray on there. I mean, whatever. They gonna sell. They gonna sell. This mid nah, so much. Mid. This, this mid not so much. I don't think. But I like it, bro. It's it's uh it's kind of like a lunar F was one lunar. Yeah, yeah. They put the big big. What is this? A uh, one eighty gigantic air bubble. It's almost it's like a one eighty air bubble without going um around the back with the visible. Mm -hmm. the, this the swoosh is uh inverse, like a zoom comfort Jordan one. This is the zoom comfort Air Force One mid. Yeah, I don't I don't like the swoosh on that. If I'm honest, that's the only thing I don't like about that. Yeah, we can. I like the air bubble, but other than that, yeah. I'm good. KD three Aunt Pearls. Return. Yay. KD 16 Aunt Pearls Aunt emerge. Pearl. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to KD. Shout out to Aunt Pearl. I'm just, I'm just waiting for one of the last slide for this because I I, I saw it the other day um, okay. and I was we'll like yeah, it's just, it's just quick 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 uh, moving USD, no, no, USD no. Dunk Low Cosmic Unity Three uh, that Cosmic Unity it they looks doing, like a knife, bro. <laughs> bro, they doing them. If you get a chance when you're in the store, yeah. just go to the basketball session and see if they got Cosmic Unities in there, and just look at the shoe, bro. It's not yeah. a regular shoe. It's not a regular shoe. It's a basketball shoe, which is why we don't talk about it more or see it more. But mm -hmm. just, just pick it up, bro. You, you ain't gonna. You won't be able to find another shoe in the store like it. Trust me. Uh, the, G, the GT series, um, GT Cut to super dope basketball sneaker. The GT Hustle, another dope basketball sneaker. And the GT Jump, the big man's, the, the leaper, the dunkers version of the GT. Yeah, we rolling. Okay. All right. Pose. 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 
so many brown sneakers in there, bro. Like, talk about the next next phase of colorway is going to be brown next year. Like, we're looking at uh, it's already started. Um, but we're looking at look at the up tempo brown up brown up tempos, brown night dunk cards, brown harachis, brown Air Force Ones, brown penny twos, and brown Air Max twos, bro. Chris the Charles Bark, the Charles Barking ninety fours, like, bro. <laughs> Talk about taking inspiration from from Travis with the brown colorway because we said that last week. Um, brown is probably Travis's colorway. No, not ain't no problem about it. The man yeah. got brown cars. All his cars are brown, all of them. Mm-hmm. He dressed up as Brown Batman for Halloween. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, no, I remember that. The, I he remember. had a whole the full on full blown Batman costume, but it was brown. Okay. With that being said, that's dope. That's dope. With that, with that being said, the penny tools are cool. Um, I was gonna say penny tools look cool. Even yeah, Harachi, cool. Harachi flight from AMA flight Harachis look cool. Yeah, the Harachi highs they look cool. These all all these sneakers look cool to me. Um, the Air Force One, Air Force One Hundred Seven looks cool as well. Uh, that, that that actually looks cool. But the the uh, Tempo Ninety Six got it, bro. That up tempo is the best. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good statement. I'll, I'll, I'll leave, I'll, you know what? The only the one I don't, I, I, not, I, the only one I don't, I'm on the fence about is the Night Dunk High. I don't think it does that as well as the others. I, I like the Charles Barkley's, like the Pennies. I like the, I think the Harachi, uh, Air Flight Harachis look dope. Um, the Air, Ma- uh, the Air Force Ones, the old sevens look dope. I, I kind of, I'm slightly agreeing with you on the actual up tempo 96. When you look at them all together, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a stick out. It's it's that light, is that light brown in the air that does it for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's agree to agree this time. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, I think we got another qu- a couple of quick strikes uh, to go through. Um, just basically round it round it off really quickly. And um, we want to look at this flea too, bro. Well, I think we looked at it last time. It, it's got a detachable uh, swoosh on it as well. Uh, the, the, well. I think this is called a Cactus Plant Flea Market Flea 2 Night Collaboration. Right. Um, it's, that's a bit of a mouthful to go through, if I'm honest. <laughs> flea 2. We just say Flea 2. <laughs> The flea two, the flea two, but yeah, that that looks like it's um it's gonna come out. Oh, this is the first pictures of it. That's gonna come out soon. What's your thoughts, bro? Quickly, yeah, it looks like a pop. Yeah, swoosh is yeah. ridiculous. Um, I like the way it's been executed, though. I do like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did their thing. The yellow, um, yeah, the yellow bag, detachable swooshes. Uh, it, it is it is for people that actually like the flea and the flea two. It's, it's not for honest. me. It's not for me at all. Not for me. Uh, nah, 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 my my dear friend uh, Retro Rick informed me that he will be getting this sneaker, and he don't care what nobody think. So, <laughs> um, you um, told me that yesterday, so. <laughs> Yeah, I told I told him he just like it because it's green. He didn't he yeah. didn't disagree or agree with me. He he said yeah. he did, and and he wanted he want us to make jokes on him when he get it. So he. The, 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 yeah, he said, I can't wait like, to see what y'all say on the podcast about these. That's what he said. The, the heat zone on the inner insole is dope. Um, it's a proper hiking sneaker. It, it's, it's one of those, let's let's go for a big hike up Mount, up Mount Everest and try and survive it. That, I think that's the kind of sneaker it is. Um, but yeah, it's definitely like a really real utility. It looks like it's got a tire for an outsole. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, built, it's built for it tough for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's top. I, I, I do, I do like it. Um, but hopefully it gives you, a, hopefully it gives you some flea powers. You can jump over the Eiffel Tower or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the flea too coming soon to a store near you. It's top. I, I, like it. I like it. Why did I, you say that? <laughs> you, what, you know what? If the flea, if the flea was comparatively our size, it could jump over the Eiffel Tower. Facts. So maybe, it may, maybe, yeah, I know it's a fact. Maybe this flea too gives you some superpowers. Maybe if Rick puts this on, a green cape grows from his neck, and he can fly through the sky like a flea. That's the one. Is it a bird? Is it a bird? Is it? A, what is it? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's Rick wearing the flea twos. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, shout, yeah. out, shout out Captain's yeah. playing free market though, man. They, yeah, it's dope. It's dope. I thing. like it. We just, we're just messing around. It's, it is actually dope. But um, I think the last couple we've got, uh, actually two more we got quickly. Bro, bacon. We're frying with bacon today because the Air Max 90 is c- colorway for the bacon is coming to the dunk low. What's your thoughts on this? Because I think uh, I do enjoy this. I, it looks dope to me personally. The color, the red is a little off. That's the only thing about it. I dislike the red. I think the red should be a little darker. If you look at the bacons, um, the Air Max 90 bacon, you, you'll just, you, I feel like the color's a little off. I'm not mad at the shoe, though. And uh, shout out yeah, to yeah. them going for it. I, f- I think we've got comparison here somewhere. I'm just going to scroll through. There, there, there's the bacon. There's the MX90 bacon. I think you're right. The red the red is a bit more vibrant than on the actual dunk than it is on the actual bacon because the bacon actually looks like a slice of, like the, the reddish of that bacon is yeah, a little more dunk. tame. A little more tame than yeah. that dunk is. I, I, st- I, I'm, I still prefer the MX90 bacon. Oh, yeah. It's classic, legendary sneaker. Classic sneaker. Yeah. Yeah. But it, they, 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 they tried it. They tried it. Would you like? We you should have put an elbow on it. You reckon? No, nah, because dunks That's ain't got shot. air. So they, the dunks ain't got no. air though. So no, 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 no. no. Uh, w- w- I would like to see this on like a maybe ninety five. See how they execute on a ninety five or ninety seven, or, e- or even bringing that. Yeah, or even bringing the bacon. Hmm? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but they're switching colorways with, with the silhouettes which is dope because we've seen that with Jordan Brand a lot and then we're seeing more of this kind of creative inspiration from switching colorways to silhouettes so let's just see what they come up with next but last quick strike before we round off the quick strikes before bro do you know Burberry took over Bond Street in London for London Fashion Week no that was dope. Look, they literally, uh, a lot of people probably was confused with the situation because they were like, I'm looking for Bond Street, like, especially if you're a tourist. I'm looking for Bond Street, but this is Burberry Street. You know where Bond Street is? No, this is Bond, this is Bond Burberry Street. So we've just taken it over for the day or, or for, for, for an occasion. But uh, this is, um, this is, yeah, like a lot of people saying, I feel like the, the beer confusing for non Londoners because non Londoners can try and look for that Bond Street. Ain't going to be finding that Bond Street. It'll be Burberry Street. So inside, even in the station inside, it's actually changed the name from Bond Street to Burberry. Street, um, so it was a kind of a dope event, and it's kind of just celebrating London Fashion Week. So that happened, and I, I, f- I feel like it was a, a little bit of a co co exhibited uh, with the transport for London and, and London Fashion Week, which was quite nice to see. I like when stuff like this happens. It's different. So they confused a bunch of people, and <laughs> probably made some people late for appointments and work and stuff like that <laughs> for the sake of high fashion. <laughs> yeah, it's like, not too much. I don't. I'm not. No, no. This is not good. I don't like. It. I don't like. Do you it. like it? No, because <laughs> like I just said, bro. A lot of people was probably confused about what was going on. Imagine yeah. this is this is a tube station, right? Yep, yep, yep. Imagine somebody for the first time. Going somewhere, looking for what you say, Bond Street. Yeah, Bond Street Station. Yeah, and they they lost. They don't understand what's going on. You you, you know where Bond Street Station is? No, I don't. I've never been to London, sir. Okay, go. So, so <laughs> gonna, Bond Street Station is in the middle of you know where Oxford Circus is. You know you heard of Oxford Circus, yeah? Never been to London, sir. Okay, cool. Oxford Circus and Bond Street and um, Tottenham Court Road are three stations which are in the central of, of central London. So basically, where all the shopping market, all the shopping um, high end shopping stores are, uh, Selfridges um, and all of that stuff, where, where you can go into like a major, major high high end shopping centers. So that 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 basically is a representation of those three stations: Marble Arch, Bond Street, Oxford Circus, Tottenham Court Road. Those four stations are integral for the biggest most busiest shopping arena in london but right? what, if I never, what if i've never been in london and okay, somebody confused. suggested that somebody suggested that it's easier to take the rail the railroad or the train or the metro or the tube or whatever 
you know, terminology is acceptable for you for public transportation. And they tell you, get off at this station. This is the station that you need to get off at. This station and this station alone. Don't get off the train unless you're at this station. You're getting lost, bro. Imagine, imagine, right? Um, you got, you got, you got to. Yes, yeah, so I think the Jubilee line goes there. So you got the St John's Wood. I'm talking about stations. I know you got the St John's. You got from Oxford Circus, and then your next stop is supposed to be Bond Street. But when you turn up to the next stop, it's Burberry Street. You're like, where's Bond Street? And you stay on, and you end up all the way to like Stanmore or or um Kil- Kilburn, which is way far away from where you want to be. Um, and then all of a sudden you're like. I was supposed to get off at Bond Street. Do you know where Bond Street is? And the guy, the guy tells him, oh, you got to get on this train again. Go back down. There's one stop before Oxford Circus. And then you get to Burberry Street again and you're like, I, I can't, I can't, where's Bond Street? And you end up at Stratford, which is the other end. You, bro, you're getting lost there, bro. <laughs> especially, if you're, especially if you're a tourist and you don't know what the stops are. You are getting lost, bro. It's like me coming to the States and getting, getting on your metros and all the, all the stations are the wrong names. So I kind of semi agree with you on that, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so that was a quick strikes for today bro that that's that's crazy that's crazy but yes main subject main topic time the night rider 11s tell me about these night rider 11s bro so i get to work one day ending my route back at the warehouse i see trip shout out to trip 13 here like yourself um, yeah, and Trip is talking to Jack. I'm gonna shout Jack out right now because I actually had the conversation, like I said, with Jack uh, Friday. Jack and Trip, they talk and they see me. Q, I know here come the sneaker conversation, right? Oh, because you're Bruh. a sneaker at work, yeah. Right. <laughs> so here we go, bro. You seen them? Uh, them night rider 11. No, not even. He said, You see them night riders? I know you're getting them night riders. I'm like, night riders, what and I'm thinking, you know, I'm in my head. I'm like, He can't be the foes coming out. He well, the foes just came out. He's not talking about the foes. He can't be talking about the foes. Like, what, I said, what, what you talking about, bro? The night riders, the kids, they some J's. He thought you were David Hasselhoff. <laughs> bro, I, I, I said, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You're going to have to show me. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. That they some, and I'm, you know, at this point, I didn't stop thinking because we would have seen this by now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bro. Knight Rider is not as big as it used to be, but still for us, we know like Knight Rider was. Night Rider was one of them shows, bro. Like as a kid, you was on the kit, the car kit, Trans Am, Pontiac. Like a lot of people own Pontiac Trans Ams because of that show. Yeah, and yeah. uh, Smokey and the Bandit too. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the old school with the, the Firebird. Um, longer, longer, long story less long. I deflect to Trip because Trip interjected. Because he loves 13s. Trip said, Were well, they some 13s? So I immediately switched to him and just and start just yeah. started joking. Cause me and Trip got like one of them uh we we joke beef with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I just I like bro, I'm talking to him and you that I just dispelled the conversation. A couple of days later, I'm just scrolling, you know, like we do. And I see a post. This oh, Night hey. Rider Eleven. <laughs> now, this is a sneaker sneaker for trees or sneaker fortress. Okay, sneaker fortress. I, sneaker fortress. I, I mean, shout out to y'all. I guess I don't. I don't subscribe to uh, Sneaker Fortress. I didn't, I can't recall ever seeing, you know, stuff that I'm interested in on Sneaker Fortress. The the headline is "Kit Comes Alive" in these 
Knight Rider inspired Jordan 11 sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So you're telling me, you're telling me your work colleague actually thought these were coming out. Yes. The, the, these foam posit looking Jordan 11 looking maybe bread looking it's like a reverse red looking yeah like if the if the patent leather was red which is a dope a really dope idea if red patent leather on a black 11 nike y'all yeah. need to do this even with the gun bottom it looks dope like that right I, the, the shiny the shiny red to me look if you want to make it a proper kick sneaker the shiny red to me looks like it's it comes from like um the foam you know foam posit um the, metallic. The, the actual, yeah metallic foam. it looks like the metallic Yep. Yeah. And I think that's a that's a dope idea for a Jordan Eleven if they actually did that and executed that. Right. I think that'll be quite an interesting look to it. All right. So for the for the video audience, let me scroll. You see the picture at the top. This is the picture is yeah. kit in the background, say Knight Rider, and it's got this clearly AI produced picture of some black and red elevens with red pattern leather. Metallic looking pattern leather, mind you, and gum yeah, where, bottoms, where translucent to, gum to, bottoms. Yeah, where it's supposed to be patent leather, it's not patent leather, it's actually cr metallic, but uh, metallic, the patent right. leather doesn't. Yeah, so the patent leather doesn't run all the way down the bottom, it actually uh, at the back of the sneaker actually rides up to the actual collar as well. Right, and there's some type of faux Knight Rider logo on the side of it, which, yeah, is, is misplaced from where the jump man usually is. It's just not right. So there's the one picture. There's this picture, which clearly was made. That first picture in the headline was made from this. This is, looked like the OG picture. And yeah, then yeah. And there's a zoomed in version of the exact same picture. And then there's a further zoomed in version of the exact same picture. There's yeah. no outsole view. There's no side view. There's no individual sneaker view. There's no box. There's no none of the stuff that we look for when we see things as sneaker heads to determine whether this is something that's viable or not. Besides the fact, once you start reading the article, it tells you it's one word in this article that lets you know this is not real. If you're not um, well informed enough to know that this picture is fake anyway, yeah, yeah. If you're just glancing or whatever, the word "concept" is used in this article, referring to this sneaker. Yeah. While the concept has somewhat faded into obscurity over the years, loyal fans worldwide would still kill to get their hands on a pair of Knight Rider inspired custom. Jordan 11 sneakers. There you go. <laughs> so let me tell you what this is. This is you going to buy a pair of Cherry 11s and painting all the white black. Yeah, 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 yeah. It kind of reminds me of the 74 or 7210. And aging out the midsole. Yeah, so yeah. It's a 72 and 10 with a red uh pad leather. Pat leather, yeah, 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 yeah. So I had I had to let bro know. I had to let him know. I talked to him at at uh, at the party at Black House, and uh, you know I had I had a pretty lengthy conversation of, with him about how these things work in yeah, yeah. sneaker media uh, concepts and, and AI, and I, and I you know I went in my uh, my phone. So, so you schooled him. I, you schooled yeah, him. I showed I showed him all the AI stuff I had made, and he was flipping out. He wanted every pair. Like, <laughs> dude, I I want I want some of them too, bro. But they're not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not you know real, real. So and this this it just brought me back to some of the arguments that we've had in the past about protecting your notion to want to protect those who don't know. Which is is yeah, a good I'll, thing, and I've I've always I'll understood. Yeah, I've always understood. Um, the the sentiment behind it. Yep. 
But the reason why I always push back on it is because of this scenario like this. Bruh yeah, saw yeah. the picture, read the headline, and proceeded to spread the news. <laughs> you are fake news, pretty much. He, that, did, that, not, that is he did not read the article. Whose yeah. fault is that? But bro, they, they, okay, cool. These are two different scenarios, and I know, and I know. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. This is the prime I, example, bro. No, no, the reason why I say there's two different there's two different scenarios here at play is it's the same scenario, but it's forked into two different situations. When I mean forked, I mean one 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 goes one way, one goes the other way. And what you haven't alluded to, and what you did allude to to me um, a couple of days ago, was the fact that he started to school you on the situation. And it, and to to me that that's where you, a pupil is trying to school a master. It doesn't work. But when when people generally reach out and say oh, I'm struggling, I don't know, and uh, please can you teach me or please can you help me? That's them reaching out for to the to the person that knows better to to help them. And I I, I think he wasn't, that, he wasn't asking me about if I saw. Yeah. Him. he was telling me about them. And that's the difference. But he he's had no research. Them. Exactly. And that's the situation that I'm in the same boat as you is the fact that if you don't know better and then you kind of fake it to, to make you sound like you know better and then you act, you actually come across as a fool to a person that knows better, you need to kind of swiftly be quiet and listen and understand the situation. And if you still don't listen and understand the situation, that's bad on not us, but the other person for not sitting there and listening to what's been said because the other person that's talking probably knows more about the, the scenario and the event, the occasion, the actual sneaker itself than you do, but uh, it's bad. And that situation is bad on him for not reading and understanding viably what the situation was. It's like going, it's like going to a vegan calf and ordering meat. Right, right. Like you're looking for the burgers. You order a burger, but you don't pay attention to the words black bean. Yeah. And you bite it and you're like, this ain't meat. Well, yeah, the menu says yeah. black bean burger, but you just saw the word burger. You omitted yeah. black bean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and this is this is what bro did. He saw Knight Rider inspired and he just went with it. He went with the headline. Bro, as soon as you start reading, I just, I'm going to read it again. The very first paragraph in this article states the internet just can't get enough of talking cars. But few yeah. people remember the original talking car kit from Knight Rider. While the concept has somewhat faded into obscurity over the years, so this is not new. Loyal fans worldwide still would kill to have to get their hands on a pair of Knight Rider inspired custom Air Jordan 11s. This is what the <laughs> article says. It's telling you this is not a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a dream. It's an aspiration of the community to have an, a Knight Rider inspired Jordan 11. And we talk about uh, all the time yeah. the fact that Jordan 11s do not have collaborations. Yeah, so this, yeah. This, this, this uh, pissing in the wind right here. I also do like what you said to me on that on that subject matter as well, because you did say to me that um, this is this this is the type of occasions when um, people ask for something and they go looking for it, and then all of a sudden they get a UA, and then that UA comes and they think it's real, and and the, 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 these are the this is what happens when you're not educated in 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 the game. This is where we I think we still need to teach people about the situations and what's happening. But you got to try it. But the thing is, if they're adamant and they don't listen, then that's on them because um, you can only tell a person so much. You can only take a horse to water and it's up to them to drink it, bro. Bro, okay, check it. If I get a loan, right? Let's say I get an email. You've been approved yep. for a $50,000 loan. 
All you had to do is click here and fill out your information and the money is yours. And I clicked there and I fill out the information and that 50K hit my account. But I didn't read nothing past click here. <laughs> Who fault is it? Yeah, it's your fault, bro. If I, <laughs> if I, if I sign up for a $50,000 loan with a 70% interest rate. That's your fault, bro. That's it's your fault. fault. That, you, because you need, you need to read the terms of engagement, the terms and conditions. The due, you need to do your due diligence to actually make sure you're getting the deal. You're not getting, yeah, you know, bro, that's your fault. That's 100% your fault. Due diligence. That's it right there. Yeah. So it, yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's all I'm asking for from the people. Not necessarily of the community, but people that are interested in it, people that are casuals. Casuals too, because yeah, I, get, yeah, yeah. I get hella casual people running up on me because Jack is a casual. He is. Yeah. And shout out to him, bro. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to dump on him at all. I'm, but, you, but I'm, 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 using, I'm, I'm trying to use this situation to um, clarify my stance on the, the prior conversation about um, people being victimized. I'm, I, I'm, I, people do because we know people out here malicious. So yeah, people get victimized all the time. If somebody's telling you that this is real, come to find out it's not after you buy it, that's on them. Yeah. But if you go and say this night rider eleven, ooh, and some um some UA factory out there that made it, you go search for it and you find it. And you buy it and you go stunting and people start laughing because it's like, bro, that's a fake. What is what are you doing? And you're like, no, this ain't fake. This is the night rider 11. And I pull it up right then and there. And I go straight to this article. Yep. That clearly says this is not a real Jordan Nike brand product. And now you look stupid because you didn't do the research. Yeah, that, that's, I, the I feel, person, that's the person I focus in on, not not the person that's being victimized. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm looking at the person that did it to themselves. You know that that's basically that's basically your use. You, you whenever we had that conversation, you always focus on that type of person because that that's what that's what you and if, unfortunately because you are the sneaker guy, yeah, because you are the sneaker guy. Yeah, I see it so much. Guy at work. Mm -hmm. you're the sneaker guy at work and that happens that basically kind of people come to you and ask you questions some people probably ask you weird questions and you're like mm, okay cool you need to do your research and that's probably annoying and I understand that but I think from our capacity when, when we see some somebody getting I think it's the people that take get taken advantage of which I'm actually kind of don't like and that's where I kind of need to that's where we try to educate people but when people are ignorant and I, that comes under ignorance as well to me personally when they don't do their due diligence when they ask you questions and you tell them that then they still don't listen that's bad and dumb but like we know like with uas we, we know with unidentified uh, F, uh fork sneakers right that we they, they they will produce like a house of heat jordan ones with the house heat stamp on the side of it we know yeah. that happens yeah. see what i'm saying and yeah. if somebody i'm pretty sure somebody's made those night rider 11 so, uh, uas have made that night rider 11 somewhere if you go and look for it, it probably is does exist somewhere so i i yeah, th th that is very good that you, what you explained to them and you've actually told them the situation and hopefully he takes that into context and doesn't he go and it. look for that sneaker. Yeah, he got, it. he got it. When I when I broke it down to him, he he, he was listening. He was uh, yeah. because he, he was responsive, you know, to the things I said. He asked questions when I made certain statements that led to further explanation that we had we had yeah. never had this this particular conversation about concepts and, and UAs and stuff. I talk about fakes when I talk to people and they ask ask me about pricing and, and uh, websites mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know, I always urge people to do your research. I always tell these guys, I can help you learn the game. But when yeah. you're just coming to me asking me if I could get you these, it's a yes or a no. Yeah, if you want information, if you want information, ask for the information. If you want to know how, ask me how, and I'll tell you how. 
I'm, it Maybe might not happen at work, and it's not going to be a one conversation, and now you get it. Now you can get whatever sneaker you want. No, yeah. it's work. Many, many, many a time, many a time, people ask me when sneakers release, when that's releasing, when this is releasing, when that's coming out, and you, all you can, all you can do is kind of help and advise them, and, and that's understandable. Um, so they don't get lost, so they don't kind of struggle. Um, but I do agree with you on that. But I, I I'm going to twist it around a bit. I'm going to say, bro, I think it's, I think it's a massive compliment. It is. No, I, I listen. It's, it's the pros and the cons, bro. Yeah. Um, when you LeBron James, they love you, but you can't go outside. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you, you can't. When you Michael Jordan, and the world is in the palm of your hand. Not, I'm not comparing myself to these guys. I'm just, you know, saying I'm, I'm, yeah. presenting, I'm presenting a scenario, and you know, this is what everybody knows you for. You know that part of it, and people want to be at you for that for those reasons. Yeah, sometimes it do get a little irritating because I'm at work. You know, what I'm saying I just I just finished a long day. I'm tired. I got to go home. I got to try to hurry up and get home so me and TJ can do this this other video. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. I'm trying to hurry up and go grab me a burger real quick or. I just, I don't feel like talking. I've been talking all day. I have to communicate. It's, you know, I do customer service all day long. I'm laughing, joking, talking with people all day. Explaining that's tiring. That's, that's, yeah. that's definitely tiring. Like yeah. I, I was telling you one day uh, off, off camera, you know, the physical and mental aspects of my jobs, they drain me sometimes. So throughout yeah. the week, when, when I get out of work, bro, I don't want to talk. I don't want to look. I don't want to listen. <laughs> I just want to eat. And lay down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's understandable. Sometimes, sometimes at work. That's why when the the party was the perfect opportunity for me to have the conversation with because I'm not pressed for time. I'm here for leisure. I'm here because I want to be here, but I and I want you to understand you can't do that, bro. Cause you're gonna end up looking crazy when you talk to somebody that knows better. And I don't want you to be that's exactly what I told him. So you're going to end up sounding crazy to somebody that knows better. I'm and not the person that's going to clown you, but somebody else that knows better might be with the clown. Yeah, yeah. Like and that. and I think I think it gets it does get worse in terms of these what we're mentioning at the moment is just people that actually kind of just kind of have to ask questions. Now the other spectrum of it is people that expect that know you expect you to cop for them. Because you know, because I think you are well connected. That's 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 a habitual overstepping the mark. That, that's when people f- take like take advantage and and kind of don't understand what what they need to be saying to you or what they need to be doing. Because like you know what, I can't. I I started this podcast today talking about how. I knew there was a sneaker in store and I ran out the door to pick that up because I wanted it so much because of, I love the sneaker. The passion made me go out and pick that sneaker up, right? Now there's people out there that will sit there, not say anything, and then ring you or tell you, yo, bro, there's a sneaker coming out this week. Can you help me get it or can you get it for me? And then they will be like, mm, okay, I'm going to put my hands behind my back, sit like this. Pull out here and watch TV. Wait for you. Wait for you to do the donkey work. Yeah, you, you, go, you, go, you go run back and forth to th- two, three different, four different stores. That's why, bro. Yeah. That's why. Depending on the situation, you're giving me extra, bro. Yeah. You are. If I got to burn my gas, bro. Two years straight. <laughs> I had six six pair of the six cool grays. One for me, one for my wife, and four for other people. Last year yeah. I ended up with seven or eight cherry elevens. Yeah, yeah. You got bruh, you gotta pay for my gas. You gotta pay yeah, for no. my you gotta pay for my nerves standing in these lines dealing with these employees. <laughs> 20% tax on nerves. <laughs> yo, 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 guess what? These holiday releases. Yeah. The mall is popping. 
Yep, 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 yep. Man, listen, I had to buy lunch because I was hungry. You got to pay for that too. <laughs> <laughs> Give me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Bro, the shoe, the shoe, the shoe costs two forty three. Yeah, give yeah. me give me two sixty. <laughs> yeah, but the thing, the thing, the way I look at that as well, like, um, I, I, th- I think if I, I, and look, I tell what, people, I tell people, give me what you think I should get, and most of the people be like, how much they was, and they give me, you know, yeah, they 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 do it right, cause cause yeah. you don't want me, you don't want me to tell you no nah, next time. The same dude that asked for the J Balvin threes asked for the SB fours, by the way. Okay. He 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 ain't asking he ain't asking for no uh Jim he, ask, he didn't yeah. he didn't ask me about the Palomino threes. He had on the Palomino threes mm-hmm. when I saw him. He ain't asked about them. Beautiful sneaker, bro. Beautiful sneaker. But he didn't ask he didn't ask me about them. Yeah. You asked him about J Bow. You you know what you know what I forgot, I forgot I had the Palomino threes. Like that's a dope sneaker now, I think again. Bro, um, you, can't, you can't ask me about no SB fours, bro. I know J Bowman threes. You can't. Yeah, let, let me let me let me tell you another thing about that situation is the fact that um th- it's it's very it's very t- what they don't understand is that you have to go through and put that effort in to get it for them and then they they kind of sit there and just expect it and then when you don't cop they like turn around and say oh well I thought you was gonna get me these and start I start to create a situation like what was you, was, was you gonna give me four hundred dollars. <laughs> Pay the resale for that. Like, uh, don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, um, the bro, the like the bros will try. And you know what? I don't mind helping people. Try. Um, That's you know, a I don't totally mind helping people. Really different thing. If, it, if especially especially if it's a shoe that I don't want, bro. We talking about Retro Rick. He's the plug. Yeah, he's helped me get sneakers. He's helped me get more sneakers than I've helped him get. And yeah. when when we talked about the J Balvin threes, yeah, bro, I'm trying to get the threes. I ain't trying to get them. Guess what? He ain't got to uh, ask me. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to make sure my partner get a size twelve on them J Balvin threes. Period. Yeah. Period. I wouldn't have rebellionaires. I wouldn't have UNC foes. And and a. Uh, uh, a bunch of other sneakers if it wasn't for Rick. Right. So yeah, yeah. Every game uh, airships. Like I am I'm, I'm gonna say the same thing, bro. We coordinate, you know what I'm saying? And we and we work together and we look out for each other. Don't just no I'm no. gonna s- I'm gonna say the same thing with people that help me and I've helped people. Like, um, like I don't, I don't mind if you struggle. Um, and you, you like what it is is if you can help yourself, but you still don't cop. And if I can help you, I will. And if I'm in the area and I see something and you missed out because you tried really hard to get it, um, and you and I see it and I, and it's in your size, I'll ring you and I'll say oh, they're here. Do you want them? And I'll get it as an assist. Like, bro, I don't mind pe- I don't mind helping people that, that try to help them themselves but when people sit there and don't help themselves sit back and expect from you and you're like well what about you are you gonna try it's no nah, but like, you got it in it no no nah, nah, i ain't got it you see what i'm saying right. I, ain't, right. I, I ain't got it if you ain't got it you, if, you, if, we, if we're doing this we're both doing this otherwise we're not doing this see what i'm saying and that, that's 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 like we've gone from, we've gone from the spectrum of teaching people like that i talk about helping people i want to i want to like, teach i want to teach yeah, you to get it your on your own because when exactly. I want it, I'm not helping you. That's why I want to teach you. Teach so you. You, yeah. you can you can do it for yourself. You know this ain't this. We're not talking about UNC thirteens. We're not talking about True Blue ones. You're talking about a J Balvin. Jordan three, bro. There's there's many situations to this, right? There's what there's a master pupil situation where you are the master, you're educating. There's the pupil master situation where the pupil's trying to the pupil's trying to say that he's better than the master and he's trying to educate the master, but the master slaps him down. And, I'm, and then number three situation, there's the there's the dunce in the corner with the, the big D on the head and looking into the corner where it doesn't know about stuff and he's just lazy. It's a school bully that thinks he can get everything and that's Bro, the situation if, I don't if, like. If it's a competition, you might as well not even say nothing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I might misinform you. Don't, don't, 
Don't <laughs> don't treat me like like we competing. That's what you want to do. You know who you're talking to. <laughs> so so when you when you're gonna get this the guy the the uh, not ride elevens then. This. <laughs> no, no, because l- let's let's be serious. Like I said before, Cherry Elevens <laughs> already got the red pattern yeah. leather. They got ice blue bottom. That concept <laughs> picture is dope. Yeah, buy the Cherry Elevens, dye all the cotton parts black. The cotton in the mesh, dye it black. Mm-hmm. The tongue is the tongue leather or no? The tongue is bit. That's another thing. That concept picture had a jump man on the tongue. Yeah. Jordan 11 tongues are plain. Ain't nothing on them. So you dye all the white black, paint the midsole black, and age the outsole. There you go. Night Rider 11s. Have you, have you got the black painting? Or if you need to order it now, bro. <laughs> There you go, bro. Night Rider 11 custom coming Q's way. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look. Hopefully I won't forget. Um somebody probably done it. Somebody probably blacked out yeah. the jersey. That, that's dope. That's a dope idea though. Black Ch- jerseys? Yeah. yeah. And black and black cherry is a is a real fruit. What do you know? We did cherry twelves this year, aren't we? Cherry twelves. Last year. No, oh, yeah, this year, yeah, Cherry Twill. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, it's interesting. The, 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 reverse, the reverse flu games. <laughs> like the, reverse, the reverse flu games. <laughs> white, the white flu games. <laughs> t- I guarantee you, I guarantee you somebody out there called Cherry Twill's white flu games. Yeah, it's it's an interesting yeah probably probably it's an interesting dynamic because basically uh basically what from my from my perspective I think a lot of other a lot of other in tune informed sneakerheads kind of get that same question and like I I when I when I was I met a couple of sneakers at work as well, and they were always getting questions about their sneakers and why they buy sneakers. A lot of the bro, we have multitude of questions that come our way. Why do you buy sneakers? What makes you so fascinated? How many sneakers do you have? What, what, what this and what that? And, and you can get tiresome because it's like, let me just, let me just, um, record pre, you might as well just pre record the answers and just play it back for them. I because like that you, part, like, though. I like that part. Really? I like I like because you never know how it will affect somebody. And don't get don't get it twisted. This is a disease that I don't wish on anybody, bro. <laughs> this is and it's it's I think it's curable. I do think it's curable. But right now I I this is a disease I wish on nobody, man. Cuz it's it is so consuming. If it wasn't sneakers, it would be something else. Mm. Just, just yeah. in bro. Sneakers, sneakers um, filled the void of music for me because as I aged, I felt less inclined to um, push my music. Yeah. And so sneakers came in for me and, and you know with YouTube and now with the podcast and you know making reels and stuff like that that, that it cre- it it filled that creative void that um me not doing so much music created so I've always loved sneakers I just told Edom uh last night because he when you know his daughter was um and when I was talking to her about the fours and he was like yeah you know, he a sneakerhead, he blah, blah, blah. He podcast this and that. And then he ain't no asking me how many pairs I had. She asked him how many pairs I had. And I told him, you know, I got like 70, 80. You know, I try to keep it trim. I'm I'm trying to kind of stay where I'm at. You know, I move pairs in, move pairs out. It's going to go up and down, whatever. And he was like, um, yeah, he just started, uh, you know, a few years back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I just... In 2018, you know, my collection began, but that ain't why. Before it was, it was music, and before that, I was a starving artist, so I was broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was a broke-ass rapper. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because because I wasn't because I wasn't on, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I had left the streets alone and tried to just focus on rap. And you know, all the years that I was rapping and trying to make some something happen with the music, and it wasn't working. And once I got I got in my early 30s and started to grow up more and realize, like, wait a minute, I can't spend every second of the day trying to rap. I gotta live too. And so, you yeah. know, things started changing and over time things progressed and, you know, meeting my wife and, you know, coming up and winning in life in general. And uh, she, it was actually my wife. She was like, yeah, why, why can't you buy sneakers when you feel like it? I'm like, well, yeah. you know, like 200 and that. I already, I felt like in the back of my mind, I already knew where it was going to end up. Yeah, because did, like, did you did you did you actually think it was going to end up with us talking every Sunday uh, for two hours and a bit over sneakers about what's coming up? Like when we talk about being, no, in I didn't know, I didn't know how far I was going to end up getting into the culture, but I foresaw myself wanting to have the collection that I had when I was in high school. And now it's six fold, seven fold. You know, when I was in high school, when I was in high school, I kept a rotation of three or four pairs. And but I was walking and I was, you know, I'm in the cut and I'm on the train, on the bus. So I'm destroying my sneakers and I'm not cleaning them. I'm not actively cleaning them. Yeah. I'm just wearing them. Oh, bro, you know I, I was the same. I was yeah. the same. So but like I, now is having having this huge rotation. And you know the, the having is 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 a different thing, bro. That some people you, you, you know what's beautiful. You know what's, what's so beautiful about this moment is the fact that reminiscing is putting a smile on your face. And what people don't realize is that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's it's not it's it's about it's about sneakers. But it's also about the love of what we do, the love for sneakers, the love for anything that anybody else does. And if it does, if it puts a smile on your face, that's all. That's always what it's all about. That, that at the at the end of the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Yeah, rock what you like, buy what you like. Yeah, don't follow the hype. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good way to finish the show because we actually started, you actually started saying say, with that saying and we actually finished with that saying. So on that note, bro, do you want to, we know we, we haven't got no naughty boys today. So no, no, there's no sneaker court or public opinion. We're going to let y'all live. We're going to let y'all live this week. All right. Yeah. We, know, we, we see y'all. Even though we can take some of those people into court about the nonchalant behavior, the non-education behavior, the the slander that they throw, all of that stuff, we can throw we can throw in the sneaker court. But we're gonna leave you guys alone because at the end of the day, we're leaving you to rest until you open your mouth one day and it needs to go to sneaker court. See what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Miller. Shout out to Mr. Miller too. I, I threatened Mr. Miller with sneaker court. He he thought it was hilarious. Why? <laughs> I tell you, I'll tell you, I'll care. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, 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 right. Yeah, you know what? What one th one thing's consistent is um, like there's a lot of sneakerheads, and also I did a live on Instagram uh, yesterday, uh, which is Saturday, and ironically, Cam was saying the same thing about us. Is he was like, like you, you guys need a creative outlet, and you said Q's creative outlet was always music, and now it's the podcast and all of that stuff. And then he said the same thing. You, you like for me, is it's the creative outlet. You need to do this, otherwise you don't. I think you just it will stunt yourself. And I said, yeah, it's true. Like it, it's it's a it's. I need to talk. I need to talk. I need to converse. I need to hunt. I need to find. I need to scavenge. I need to remodel, redo, redo. Like basically, I need this. And if I didn't do this, I don't know what I would be doing. God bless our wives. <laughs> and a very, very understanding shout to all the partners stuck with sneakerheads that actually end up with this stuff in the back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh no, no, cool as that, bro. Episode eighty four. Episode eighty four, bro. <laughs> From the bottom of our, our sneaker hearts.
<laughs> May the sneaker gods bless all the sneaker wives and the sneaker girlfriends and the sneaker husbands and the sneaker boyfriends and the sneaker moms, the sneaker dads, the sneaker kids. God That's bless them. That's why they call it soulmate, bro. Yo. That's why they call it soulmate. Soulmates. We all are soulmates. Yeah. Shout S-O-E out to E mates. <laughs> shout out to all the soulmates. Shout out to the audio audience, man. We love y'all. The YouTube audience, y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know. We started with y'all. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. all the followers on IG, man. The TikTokers over there on TJ TikTok that he be having popping. Uh <laughs> yeah, man. All the bros. Shout out Mars, man. Um yeah. Scott Dale, Cam, E. Alex. All the extended, Alex, straight to the toe. All the extended bros, Retro Rick. Um, Ola, Kick, Ola, Miller. Lord, Mr. Miller, uh, Retro Rico, um, oh, yeah. Rick Dub, uh, Greg, what's what he call it? Uh, Lace Differently, uh, Sutter Kane, yeah. Gabe Fortson, oh, Crepsaholic, Ash. Uh, Ashmore, um, who are everybody, bro? All the, all the, bro, all the Sajini, uh, yeah. uh, Fresh, uh, to all the, all the sisters, no Hustleina. By the way, by the way, where a hey, no Yeah, Miguel, shout out Miguel. Yeah, man, shout out Miguel. That, by the way, by the way, we're not bad influences. We just are. Uh, our influence of, of a love of sneakers actually influences you guys to buy sneakers. And saying that, sorry, Jenny, for influencing you to buy a Jordan 5. So I'll put my hands up. <laughs> we love you, Jenny. We love you. Um, oh, no, no. So, cool us up, bro. <laughs> have a great day. Great week. Great month. Great rest of the year. Cotton books, man. Out the books, <laughs> out the books, out the ones, man. I think they're gonna be dope, y'all. Y'all enjoy yeah, yeah. it, man. Episode eighty four. Peace out, guys. Peace. <laughs> hey. hey. But, hit the button.